Danny, let's say he was in like the Spartans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like maybe the Roman Empire. What would they have used Long Neck as, you know, to, to maybe for the other, to, to defeat the other side? What would they have tasked him as? Um, they would have tasked him as the thing that went into the gorge when it was born. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. That is uh, just uh, when, when, <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Like, uh, I, I, I was trying to set you uh, set him up for a compliment. That's so fucked up. I was trying to set him up for a compliment, and you just hit him with that, dude. I mean, like, I'm sorry. I just saw the movie. All I know is the movie. And when, uh, <laughs> he said, uh, "Why don't you apply to LA County Probation Department, Juvenile Hall?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I know. Wow. He's a soup. He got me in. How long no. did you work there? Uh, what? Over thirty years. Oh, over thirty years. years. I just retired. Wait, right? Over sit down. thirty right, years. Sit, he, I, no, no. He sit just down. retired. Sit down. Right, Dick. <laughs> right, Dick. He <laughs> just <laughs> retired. He, right, he right. retired. Right. He retired. <laughs> come on. Where, where are you going, homie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. He retired. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I mean, and and dude, and I walk in. Uh -huh. I had no training. Wow. And no training. I don't I don't know anything. And he I'm walking in, I'm dealing with Wait, that was Ratic. Told me to come back in. Yeah, I mean you're gonna get arrested if you come back in, but it might be worse. <laughs> 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 he's gone. He immediately he immediately <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta film him. He just <laughs> turned on his heel and walked the fuck out when I told him he was gonna get arrested. Bro, you dig, bro. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not a Thai boxer, I wanna make that clear. But I think a one roundhouse kick for me, I could disintegrate you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, you can't, man. Oh, shit. I know. If I kicked you in the ribs, your body would break, Long Neck. I, well, he would never. He's peaceful. But I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. If I had a bat and I took a swing at your, <laughs> at your uh, just kind of like the middle of your body pretty much anywhere. He could block it, too. It wouldn't yeah, matter. Even if you blocked it, dude, I, uh, I'm, I'm cutting you clean straight in half, bro. Have it you is. seen Gladiator? Yeah, Have I'll you seen the chariot and, scene and, in and Gladiator, dude? We're talking about a blunt baseball bat, but you are, like, you're going to be in two pieces at the end of that. I would literally wrap my neck around both of y'all necks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you do. Nicole? Why are you calling me this? Well, because I care about him as a friend. I love him as a friend, in fact. And there's other, there's something else that you must know about him. Pull the okay? bachelorette card. Pull the bachelorette card. There's something else that you must know about him, um, Nicole. Are you, are, you, uh, uh, are you listening? Yeah. Don't say nothing. Fuck. What? I'm not. I'm not. Stop. Saltine is a sex offender. What the fuck, bro? That's not true. And, um, you know, bro, he wanted to tell you. Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. Yo, give me the gas. I'm, so I'm sorry. It's okay. Talk it out. She hung up. She hung up, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, you just fucking dude. fucked my entire no, shit, No, bro. no, 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 dude. You know how pissed she sounds? <laughs> you know how fucking pissed, Call her bro. back, dude. Was it the kitten thing? Dude, was it the ki thing about the suckling bro, kitty? are you fucking <laughs> kidding me, bro? Was it the suckling kitty thing or what? Call her back, Salty. Get her, her back. back. Get call her back. Call her back. Call her back. Call her back. And you have to talk on the phone to her this time. You have to talk. <laughs> Maybe step off and call her. Maybe. I think that's I think on the, the podcast. No, on air. On the air. On the air, air. On the air yeah. baby. I can take a little wee wee. Oh, on the air. Call her. Call her, baby. Dude, you just fucked. No, I didn't, dude. No, I didn't. It was a joke. Nah, bro. Just like, tell her that one of your friends stole your phone for a second, dude. She literally <laughs> sounded so pissed, bro. Dude, tell That's her one of your cool. friends stole your phone. <sighs> I will be don't going to the police to file a restraining order. Please don't respond to this and don't ever contact me again. If you do not listen, I will be going to the police tomorrow. I think she loves you, bro. Austin thinks she's playing hard to get. I think Epstein would agree. No, uh, no, nah, like, what? Have y'all ever had a chick say that? I've yes. done. And Everybody, was. Dude, it's super typical to have a girl say that. <laughs> Everyone, no, it's not. Yeah, dude. to call the police in a restraining order. <laughs> no, three bro. times this week. What the? <laughs> it's it's no, bro. If you ever had a chick say that, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, what the? F what it's, happened, bro? It's it's like, sort of like her like being like, haha, you want my number? I don't. You gotta take me to coffee first. Yeah, same thing. Not That's a big deal. Hassan Piker and you and watch Hassan Piker Zerka Mia Malkova oh, three way date and yeah. tell me are my looks caring or my personality tell me I think he has clout looks uh, everything he's and, tall bro don't tell me that motherfucker's big 
He's huge. He's beautiful. God damn it. He's that big. He's that, he's that big. He, he kind of looks like a younger you. Really? Actually, Fuck yeah. him, dude. He's like a non-straight. Oh, my God. Yeah. You guys look alike. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's like a womanly version. I'm a swing on him. Yeah. What the dude. fuck? Yeah. Yo, pull him up. On dude, God. I'll put the chin down. Whoa, I'll take it, do dude. I had a Mayweather defense, dog. You just cut dog. his hair. Hey, if I had yeah. a fight you, it wouldn't be fun, dog. I'll tell you that. You're a fucking... No, no it would be fun. I'm a fucking... I'm dying. My organs are failing. You're going to kill me. Okay, Faz, you say you go for a walk Just hold up, just stop You haven't had sex since 2012 Like, what the hell, Faz? You could fuck right now if you want to Do you want to? They just ask you to go why you say no to that? Yeah, I think you like right because I came ready to where the you know, I'm ready to fill you. I hope you like cheese. That's my specialty. They call me Ralph because. I have a small penis. <laughs> gross. Confidence uh -huh. <laughs> Come on up here so we can get a good look at you. Uh, I've been able it. to get one word out because I am just afraid. Yeah, look at this. I am ready for this. <laughs> Dude. You've done porn before or would this be your first uh, scene? You know, I have a lot of like porn in the books with rap <laughs> Pam. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to focus on you for now because... I can't dude, f you. <laughs> I'm ready to strip tease. Dude, he's good, dude. Baby, dude, dude Rat Dick's good. He's dude. a star. Yeah, he is a star, dude. Big Che, how many days are in a week? Wow. 31 <laughs> days. How many? 31 days. 31 in a, in days a week? in a week. Wrong yeah. term. <laughs> in, a, in a week? There's 31 days? 31 days in a week. How many days in a month, Big Che? Nobody help him. How many days no, in a month? Bro. Oh my god, dude. Right, Dick, how was your Christmas? My Christmas was all right. I uh it was kind of weird cuz on um Thanksgiving I uh, went to my girlfriend's parents' house and got really drunk and oh god. pulled out my dick. No. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. Yeah. What? Pulled out my dick and Where did you pull it out? In the kitchen when we were all what? drinking. Do they like, still want you to father the, her child? <sighs> Probably not. They, wait, wait a second. Wow. They, yeah. what, were there were there children her there? No. Okay. Thank God. I thought there might have been, but they, my Jesus. girl my girl was like, "Yo, there's no kids there." But all right, so you're in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. We were drunk with. Um, and I'm parents. sorry. This is Thanksgiving or Christmas? Thanksgiving. And then Thanksgiving. so I came back on Christmas. It was just super fucking awkward. It was well, like, obviously, you pulled out your cock. Yeah. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, and the brother was like <laughs> mad at me. The brother was mad. Rat Pussy's yeah. brother. Hey, yeah, fucking, that guy fucking's coming over. He, what, you know what he did last time, dog? <laughs> you know what he fucking did, dog? He pulled out his dick, dog, in the kitchen, bro, right in front of the gorditas, dog. The, well, only, yeah. thing that, the only thing that was cool for is that that shit was small. <laughs> so I know my sister's okay, man. <laughs> hey, man, he's not even making a dent, dog. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. Right, I got a small cock, too. I'm right yeah. there with you. I can make those jokes. That's like, hey, why right. she's not pregnant yet, is what he's saying. Yeah, no <laughs> way, dude. It's that shit's not long enough to get up to the fucking uterus. Yeah. Dog, he can't yeah. even yeah. salminate her, dog. He hey, that's a callback, dog. He can't salminate her. He can't even salminate her, dog. kids left and right. He already has a kid. He's like 19. Hey, fool, I told you, <laughs> I told you these white people. I think he's 20 now. Hey, that's fucked up, but uh, she has, she is Latina, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's she's a weird. Mexican well, uh, Bro, the Mexican Latinx fam, dude, Hispanic. I know, because I'm Latinx. Dude, I'm you know Hispanic. how much they're fucking talking? Dude, they're probably talking dying. Yeah. Dude, they're dying the talking. So they've told yeah. everyone in the family, like, oh, dude, you're not going to believe this, dog, but... <laughs> He pulled his dick out at Thanksgiving, yeah, man. Really yeah, fucking Maria's boyfriend, man. I Maria's thought he was going to fuck the turkey, <laughs> fool. Yeah. Ratchik, I can't believe you did that. So what, <laughs> were you, what were you drinking that brought you to that? Jack Daniels. That's so, my Dude, that's my so did you get in Danny drink. Mullen mode? Like, why would you I take your dick Danny out? Mullen mode. So tell me what, what made you possess you. I sent my father you. an asshole picture. They were like, 
What? Yeah, yeah, and then I <laughs> no way, <laughs> bro. Why, why didn't you tell us this right like, when you came through the yeah, door? Like, this should have been like the Johnny Carson show when right. you had a story. Oh just my god, on the tip of your tongue, right? Oh my god, yeah, this is incredible. Guys, you, yeah, I want to pull up the Little Caesars commercial that Read Leo just comments? starred in. Because, you know, the fa- the fans have really been sounding off in that comment section. Yeah. And, and it's really been making me happy. They have. <clears throat> so if, I don't think we should play it, Austin, just for copyright reasons. Yeah. We'll get probably just type pinched in if we do Little that. Caesars commercial. So, you know what we'll do is we're just going to read the comments. You guys, if you want to see this, you got to check yeah. it out. Little Caesars. The thumbnail will describe it to you right now so you can find it. Third one there. It's it's a woman doing a fake, exaggerated, screamy face. And we're not going to watch it, but we are going to look at the comments, Austin. Go to the comments? Oh, okay, comments. And then yeah. you could, uh, if you go to their YouTube channel, there's other videos. But this is, a, I mean, obviously <laughs> these, are, these are solid already. <laughs> already solid. So, and my favorite thing, everybody, <laughs> is that Little Caesars is responding to you guys yeah. because you know whoever's running this is a 22-year-old unpaid social media intern. Mm-hmm. She's like a cute girl. She went to University of Texas, and mm-hmm. she just wants to – she's really – like I mean, my Instagram, it's really cute. That was actually the resume I applied with. I have 2,000 followers. I'm really good at hashtags. She's running this account, and she's trying to engage the fans to, like, build some sort of camaraderie between, yeah. like, I love Little viewer. Caesars, by the way. I want to go on the record and say that I – eat their pizza it's fantastic and uh we need to do more little caesar's base <laughs> but uh, just the, what they're responding to they have no idea yeah. that it's all thinly veiled blowjob references <laughs> having to do with leo the tavio every comment mm-hmm. almost is a is a thinly veiled blowjob joke pertaining to this guy to my left <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable the work we've done to be to be able to have that happen right oh it's amazing so the the ad basically it's it's one of these i don't know it's like some postmodern surrealist they're in a palace mm-hmm. a bunch of lines are said that don't make any sense leo is looking like a sex symbol mm-hmm. but let's start reading the ads here the man that said, I smell bacon, should have won an award at the Golden Globes. That's Leo. That's also one of the tamer comments. Yeah. Okay, let's read yeah. the next comment down, yeah. Leo. Why don't you hit that Nothing one? Nothing like eating Little Caesars <laughs> pizza, getting blown, <laughs> and watching Mad Men. 114 <laughs> likes under Little Caesars fucking... It, this, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, don't, I am speechless, guys, and... Thank you. You know, thank you. So uh, what must Little Caesar, <laughs> they must just have no, <laughs> no idea. idea. <laughs> Don't forget Peaky Blinders. He watches real shows. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's, so let's keep scrolling down. Because this one, the next one got a reply. This one says, I just went out and bought from y'all because the acting from the long-haired fellow was so good. Hell yeah. That's somebody, that's one of our Christian fans, mm-hmm. maybe from Tennessee. Mm-hmm from Georgia, and we appreciate you too. That's maybe going to get Leo hired a comment like that. Let's check it out. Let's see that reply from Little Caesars. We hope you come back and visit (laughs) us, says Little Caesars' official account. Hell yeah. Okay, so this is another guy's just being nice. Leo is the man. Yes, put him in more commercials. Mm -hmm. Leo is a pizza god, absolutely. Uh 57 thumbs up. Uh, it's cool to see him after seeing so many Danny Mullen antics. The bacon guy is awesome. And then here we go. 188. <laughs> you need my big pepperoni. Hell yeah. Leo. Okay. I'm trying to hear my favorite one. And I com- I did comment. I don't know if they left it up. But okay. No, my favorite one is one more down. It's I'm going to give this guy a shout out. It's dog dog horseman. Three eight nine nine. Uh-huh. I'm willing to blow <laughs> all of my money on Little Caesars. This pizza is the real Best Buy. Oh my god! <laughs> Which is a reference is... to Leo's favorite parking lot to get his dick sucked in. Oh Let's check out the god. replies here. Okay, they they tried to slide in a uh, an order link. Little Caesars. What scumbags? Mm-hmm. Oh no! But first, they wrote, "We love our loyal LC fans." <laughs> Well, the only thing that Leo is loyal to is the fellatio. Oh, my God. They're responding to all this. (laughs) Best comment, best response, dude. (laughs) Dude, did you look at that one, dude? Uncut pizza. Yeah, I love uncut pizza. A reference to my penis. (laughs) Extra cheesy, just like Papa Leo. People, (laughs) unbelievable. People are murdering it here. Dude, unbelievable. You guys in the comment section have made me... Very proud many times, but not maybe the UCLA time when you hit the UCLA baseball Instagram. That was incredible, too. But this is top notch. Oh, guys. they're the best. Big W yeah. for Little Caesars. Great casting and acting. Little Caesars responded. 
<laughs> here we go. And now somebody oh wrote a God, novel. This is unbelievable. Somebody wrote a novel here. That was unbelievable. If you guys though. want a little behind the scenes of this commercial, <laughs> the guy who said, I smell bacon, which is Leo. His name is Leo. Immediately after filming ended, he and the two women and the delivery guy made their way to Leo's vehicle in the parking lot where he was blown by all three of them. <laughs> the more you know, 16 upvotes, three replies. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? True story. I was the delivery guy. So this is what happens if any companies out there decide they want to work with us. This stuff's oh. liable to happen. Leo, I've been hit up by so many friends who have seen the ad on TV. Yeah, yeah I've been hit by a lot of people saying, was Leo at a Little Caesars commercial? Yeah, dude. They fucking they put it on during UFC and during the football. Dude, what, I, hopefully wow. they put it on during the Super Bowl. Man, that'd be dope. <laughs> that would be dope. It's What's normal, up, all right? Boys? We out here at Target. Excuse me? Y'all trying to buy me this? I'm trying to get some dubs in Fortnite. <laughs> I could get like two skins with this. We don't have any money. <laughs> the Asians me either. Dude, they trying love to get him some though. Fortnite. The girl's cute. Oh yeah? I only have 10 bucks, I'm sorry. The girl's cute. Can I get your number? Maybe you can buy me some later when you get a job, cause you're broke. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe. This game's kinda. What's your number? Dude, she likes him. Dude, this okay, is bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> you go? How, I Dino? You go. Dino's got game! Dino, how did you do that? That girl's hot, Dino. Dino, Thanks you should- Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 fuck you, Dino. Replay that. Fuck you, dude. Replay that, dude. Dude, Dino, you're just gonna- You're not even gonna hit her up, are you? No, that girl's in love with you. Hey, wait, because you're gonna keep banging the chick who doesn't even appreciate your big wee wee. Wait, keep going, dude. Look at this body language on the exit. We'll just be quiet. Unbelievable. Let's let's back it up. I was interrupting. I was so blown away. Let's listen to the whole audio again for the listening audience. This is unbelievable. Excuse me. Y'all trying to buy me this? I'm trying to get some dubs in Fortnite. <laughs> I could get like two skins with we this. Don't have any me either. That's how I'm trying to get some Fortnite. I, mean, I would if I could. Oh yeah? yeah? I only have 10 bucks. I'm sorry. Can I get your number? Maybe you can buy me some later when you get a job because you're broke. <laughs> Touching her face. Oh my. What's your number? God. Here, I'll just type it in. Oh my God. You play Fortnite? No. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you're, I mean, <laughs> Thanks for buying me for now. Nervous, in, dude. in advance. Oh my god, dude. Excuse me? Will you buy this for me? I'm just really trying to play Fortnite. Get some skins. Sorry? You know? Like, buy it for you? Yeah, so I can get some wins in Fortnite. No. <laughs> but I need a good keyboard. No. My parents won't give me one. <laughs> well, I guess You're holding a keyboard? Yeah, it's a keyboard and, Put on, and V bucks. No. How much Fortnite. would it be? Please? <laughs> like $100. <laughs> $100. I'll do anything. You're wearing my old yeah. hand-me-down shoes that I jumped into a body of water. And they're too with. big. Can you buy me too. this? Those probably have like mildew Fortnite. with them, dude. Really? How am I gonna win? Will you buy me this for Fortnite? Sorry? Can you give me this for Fortnite? Why are there mad honeys? I can at get this like target, two though. skins with this, and then with the this, girl was like, unbelievable to I'll have more yeah. gaming reaction Dino. time and stuff. No, thank you. But I'll get wins and stuff. <laughs> Did you say better reaction time? I was uh, present, you know. We're going to get the cat out of the bag early. Yeah. Uh, Where were you I, present, sir? I, I was present a, you know, a long time ago. I have a, I have a little bit of... Uh, Let me say this. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> This guy, yeah. Mike, a.k.a. something else on Swolby's live streams that I'm going to disregard, he was there that fateful day in 2020 when Rat Dick Ralph organized a fan meetup that turned into an orgy, and he invited two or three fans to make love to Rat Pussy Pan. Correct. Um, we've heard quotes such as, she sucked everybody's dick there. Things like that. Definitely, uh, that was definitely, that was true. sucked everybody's That was true. Yeah. We initiated an Eiffel Tower. She sucked my flaccid <laughs> dick. You like Eiffel Towered. Maybe three minutes. Three minutes, she sucked so your flaccid, flaccid dick. dick for two, I, I was like, okay, like. Was she, was she getting yeah. after it? Yeah, you know, let me let me for all the audience and viewers here. You know, Rat Pussy Pam is a lovely lady, um, and I also want to shout out my girl, my girl. Thank you for letting me come tonight. Whatever. Uh, oh, she's not you know, gonna love you after this, uh, but it's okay. So, the thing with Rat Pussy Pam, she's like a an awesome moped, you know. 
fun to ride, but you don't want your friends to see you riding it. You know what I mean? That's very oh mean. God. That is one of the <laughs> meanest is things okay, I've right? ever seen. Not in a bad dude. way, but like, you We're know, it's so What do you have to say shit. about like, that? Just That's just oh, up, man. That's no, like a threesome. Up. A threesome, guys. Oh, like, let's break that down. Like, let's break that down. Rad dick. Michael you said, like, you know, what would me and Danny do if we saw you riding in a little tiny moped you down the laugh. street? You would laugh at me. We You're would fun. say, what but a... I will say, a moped can only hold one person, and clearly Rat Pussy Pam can take three. She could take a lot of <laughs> apparently. But all, but what you're this saying is, is, what are you saying? You're embarrassed that you I'm made love to Rad Pussy? And yeah, you preemptively apologized to your girlfriend. That's not no, cool. I, I just apologize to my girlfriend. I thanked my girlfriend for, for letting her have... Right. For me coming out here. I think know? you should pray that she doesn't watch this episode. <laughs> oh, she's she's going to watch it. Okay, well yeah, then... No, I'm fucked. We'll see. Maybe we'll have her on next week for a Maury Derp or one of the, you know, like... <laughs> No, but, uh, she's cool. She's uh, cool. Uh, why'd you say before we went live that uh, she gives whack dome? He said, "Oh, that. she. Hey, I, I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I better not go. I was like, yeah, I'm. Oh, it's the first five minutes. So, Ratic, I want to hear. Or maybe both of you can help tell the story of how this whole night started because yeah, in we detail. our details are fuzzy. We put it all together through, albeit a lot of Instagram stories. I mean, he was posting one. It felt like every five minutes. Right. We got a pretty good picture of how it all went true. down, but. <laughs> I imagine you answered Rat Dick's call to go to a fan meetup, an RDR fan meetup. Let me set this straight. So I was at the beach. I was doing crazy stories all day long. The first story was, hey, I'm trying to find somebody that's willing to fuck. Hey, I'm trying to find somebody that's willing to fuck me and my girlfriend. That's how you no, were putting I think it. that came about after. Yeah. No, he was putting up those I was, stories. I was putting those stories. And then I met, I met Will. This was your brother. Yeah, yeah. And from there, I met you. And yeah, I, I, I remember these stories. The just just pause real quickly. I remember you putting out that call. You had a meetup in Huntington Beach Huntington area. Beach. And then the next story was really creepy. I know Leo's going to remember it too. We were filming the fairy tale video in spring the 2020. We find this story of Rat Dick in a van, shirtless, all sweaty. <laughs> High on meth, amphetamine at the time. <laughs> High on meth, reclined next to Rat Pussy Pam in a van. Mm -hmm. And it's just, hey. Right. Which one of you pussies wants to come hang out with me and RPP and fucking legendary? Fuck both of us. <laughs> yeah, fuck both. Who of wants us. to eat our asses and fuck? Who wants to come suck my rat dick, baby? Oh my god! I was trying to get some fucking real pleasure at that time. I wanted to fuck whoever, whatever, <laughs> man, man, woman, man, woman, man, woman. It did not matter for me at the time. Did I you try to get your dick shit. sucked by Mike? I was <laughs> gonna get into that. I did scream well, at this man. Let's not, let's not skip ahead to that. I know oh, you sent wow. out a text to Brooks trying to get Brooks to lick your asshole while you fucked Rat Pussy. So I was very attracted to Brooks that, back that's not two gay, years ago. Though. It's not gay. Two days ago? Two you years were... ago. Two days ago it was getting a little frisky, but nothing, no gay shit. I wasn't attracted to him then. <laughs> okay. They tell me he looked very handsome, though. Three years ago, you were sexually attracted to Brooks Cossover. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? He was the oh. pussy coordinator. Are okay. you straight, Rat Dick? Straight, Rat. I'm straight, of course. Are you done, slightly I've never, bi? I've never done no gay shit. Rat Dick, percentage, I mean, you, I mean, you. I would say the force you had was... 99% straight. 99%, yeah, 99 but 1% I will could have recognize, a I could recognize a, a sexy man that I'm willing to have a foursome with. And you're, and you're willing to get straight your dick Straight way, Danny is willing to tie his dick to Adam Poo. <laughs> is, okay. So Mike's your okay. type. Shit. I'm not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I will you put say, on some white, Mike. After Brooks, no, he oh, looks yeah, the baby. same. He Come looks on the dad same. bod, man. Huh? But I will say, after Brooks cut his hair, I'm gonna keep him the fuck away from my girl. You know. It's All right. Mm. Ball, He's handsome. Mm. Yeah, yeah I'm more of like a doctor <laughs> octopus <laughs> Brooks type guy. Let's go crazy with rap pussy guys. <laughs> All right. Well, you keep mentioning that it got straight into the the dirty, the sex. needy, and the greedy. So this is RDR right after he finally is escorted out by a collection of people, not security guards, at yeah. the venue. Fan Jerry was a, a great How do I attack venue. Doc Jock, Nico? I should oh! Put <laughs> Danny Mullen just kicked your boy out of the comedy show. Fuck you, Ha Ha Comedy Club. And fuck you, Danny Mullen. Fuck you, bitch. You kicked me out of your show? You're a pussy. Oh my God! What's up, buddy? So you're here. You're you're here right in front of Danny right now. How does that make you feel watching something like that? We give you a platform. We we give you friends like uh, Dino. We get you chicks, Austin. People like Holly Day. Right. And this is how you thank us. Uh, Holly uh, Day was uh, going to jerk you off with a stick. I don't know if that's going to happen now after that. I mean, there's got to be some sort of repercussions. Look at me. I hope, I hope, Look at me. Okay. Just my nose is like so clogged and 
I'm crying over here right now. I, I really hope that there's no repercussions for this. It really, I, I have a tear coming down my eye about this. this because is... you are so unhealthy that you <laughs> destroyed your nose. Right. And it does not work anymore. It does not keep yep. the snot in. And it's quite I'm disgusting. Crying. I'm kind of crying right now because like of how upset I like I did that two boys. And, you know, that's fucked up. See, priorities, RDR. You told me you were going to start an, an OnlyFans with RPP by today. <laughs> and I bet you haven't because you haven't been able to get your, sh your uh, crap R together. RDR, I, I still want an apology here. I know, Danny, I am... I apologize. That was very fucked up for me to say that. And it was not true at all. And I was just directing a lot of anger towards getting kicked out, really wanting to be there to support you and go on stage and say my erratic part because I was working on some erratic stand up. Oh, really? I was going to plot my erratic. I really was. And I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I would have wow. risked it all. And I know it would have been funny as fuck. And I probably would have ran out of there as fast as possible after that because it would have been like, whoa. But yeah. I really do apologize. And I apologize to everybody in the crew for like Can spazzing we, out. You know, and especially you, Danny. Because I said fuck you and like called you all those names. That was so fucked up. And I <laughs> got very depressed after that. Yeah, let's watch this real quick. Wait, wait. I, I just I want to say mm -hmm. one thing. We'll, we'll watch this. Yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. do have a way that I think he can make it up to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Let's watch it. Before we start I this. I have to kiss two asses today. Let's watch Stop this. Stop it. The, a fan said this about you in this video. A fan, said <laughs> that, a fan said that you look like an avocado that was left out or left in the fridge too long. That's so funny. Look at that. All right, go ahead. Oh my God. I lost. What do I do? I lost all my wax. And I'm really depressed. This is RDR very close to rock what, bottom. Rock bottom. Yeah, yeah, definitely. See the tear right there? Beginning? This, rock bottom is relative for you because, I mean, you really hit rock I, bottom in 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this that is... That was nothing. That was... It, it really could have gotten worse if Rat Pussy wouldn't have picked me up that night. And yeah. Maybe I would have, like, tried to go back in and be like, we're calling the cops. This, this isn't rock bottom. We yeah. haven't hit the bedrock, at which point you can't dig anymore. Right. We've hit the water table. If, like, the where your hole... Let, let, let you're talking over me. Sorry. Where, Sorry. You, where we've hit the water table where your hole starts to fill up. Exactly. That's what this is right here. Yeah. RDR, yeah. you're demanding wax. You're like David Hasselhoff when he had that horribly embarrassing video of him drunk on a hotel room floor. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw That's that. That's very embarrassing. This is where you're at right now. Yeah, this is fucking embarrassing as shit. I learned my lesson. We did, and like, come on. I mean, look, maybe we just don't give you alcohol anymore. Like, I know from now on, but like, you have to not do coke on your own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to know, RDR, that you're gonna soon because Why? historically, every time I do a pod of these guys, the oh. guy I'm the, that's on this couch, um is going to explode. Pretty you know much. what? I mean, that's so funny oh, that you I'm say pretty, that about uh, RDR because he is close to popping. Oh, I'm to pretty, die? Uh, I'm really sorry. Do no. you have AIDS? Well, uh, actually, it's time out. Maybe. Put maybe. out your hand. Hold out your hand. I Watch have, the shakes, um, dude. Tremors. What is that called? Can we Parkinson's a, disease. Can we cut to that, Austin? Can we make sure we got that on camera? So... Well, uh, RDR. I took a mushroom. That's probably what it is. RDR. I I do <laughs> think that a lot of people would Maybe say. Because it's, it's really interesting you bring this up because you put your finger up cigar guy's asshole. He flees the state. Mm -hmm. You have sex with King Croc and King Croc goes missing. Nobody can find. And him. you right. were King cucked. Oh. And Hearthcock was unfortunately that? passed you, away. Too. You were Hearthcock? totally oh, in the room. God. I mean, Hearthcock, you wait, you did uh, spend some time with uh, Hearthcock as well. Yeah, yeah. I My remember is being around. in the they car yeah, and yeah. he was like, yeah. can I eat your pussy? And Danny right. was like, miss, I'd love to eat your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that guy. I did too, man. I, I loved all three of those guys. They were yeah. all such good people. And I'm really sorry for um, your fate. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Your, your curse isn't that strong, baby. You know, My rat is stronger than your curse. RDR, <laughs> I think a lot of people do see you as a dude who's on the brink. Yeah, they do. A lot of those dudes are <laughs> it's and they're going to fucking go kill themselves. Ratic, we can't themselves. say that word, unfortunately, yeah, because they'll but, delete our channel, so okay, stop. Okay, but they're going to get age restricted. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're they're, 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 they're going to fucking go... They're, they're, they're not as cool as my rat dick. Listen, I support gay rights. Listen, RDR, he's basically a homosexual. Yeah, well, I mean, not he very. Is. He's, he's going to have sex with the guy pictures. for 30, 
that for three grand. Yeah, he, he, he I like your shoes, gonna, by the way. You look good. Yeah. There is a price That's for every That's not gay, hole. by the way. It's a price for every hole. Uh, RDR, but you have gone missing before. You've done yeah. some time in jail. Mm -hmm. You have had several drug-related breakdowns. Psy drug psychosis. And then you had another one of those last weekend. Uh, you gave me a lot of alcohol, and it's I okay. gave you a pint of Jack Daniels. That's All I gave you Daniels. was a pint of Jack Daniels that you split with Nico. Well, boys. That is three you know, shots. Ratic is Older that is now. three shots is what I got old. you. Don't put that on me, you bastard. My rat dick ain't going nowhere, Were you baby. trying to seduce this guy? Of course. Mm. You've already seduced I'm me, Danny. I'm hopelessly attracted to him. Rat dick, if I... That, you're, you're, that, that's, that's very, <laughs> you know, that, that pleases my heart. If I cornered you I in the love, bathroom and I was I just like, hey, hey, suck it. Suck it, rat dick. Suck it. Would you suck my dick for free? Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I, I want you to would. tie me up and just... Maybe I live in a weird world. Like you were saying with Adam... Yeah, I, I want to be tied up. Would. I want to be your. Would. She, yeah. You took my dick. You guys suck Danny's dick. <laughs> uh, as a friend. It's a friend. Yeah, we yeah. do that. Guys do that. We wouldn't make eye contact, but we. I would be like, pound it. You would not make eye contact with who during what? During during dick sucking. Oh, like I feel like, like if we made eye contact, that would be like a connection. While you oh. blew me. Yeah. Oh. I would have to close my eyes. I feel like you made eye contact with King Croc while you're blowing him. Maybe I that's mean, why he disappeared. You're like Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> is he okay? Well, the last I had him on the Leo and Friends, which is like the the Patreon show. Subscribe, and he looked uh, better. He had lost weight. He was uh, uh, mentally, I feel like, probably going in the right direction. He was living in, um, uh, uh, you know, some housing stuff, uh, government housing, and uh, he. Uh, is he had he seemed a little unhealthy like there was a little tinge of like uh yeah, unhealthiness in his eyes you know like he Slay. I don't know what kind of drugs I'm not sure what he's doing or drinking a lot I think he prefer I think he just likes to drink but then he had like uh I don't know he 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 just uh has disappeared he does not answer his phones he, I don't know where he is not right now which Period. is a shame I tried to I I I tried to um kind of talk to people that might know where he is and I, I haven't been able to find out anything so the last time he talked to me he was like did you know i made a, a drake cover and i was like okay. show me and then that was the last i ever heard of him i never heard a drake cover oh who knows if it was good was he a good lay kazumi um i mean you could roll the tape uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not convinced he ever had sex with you successfully. <laughs> the, it entered. There it was entered. penetration. Okay, there was penetration. There was a, oral sex for idea. sure. I saw you get. I saw you blow him. And I maintained eye contact with you. I was like, <laughs> "Is this what you want, Danny?" <laughs> oh my I, god! Carl's here, and we thought we would do a scared straight thing because Carl he does volunteer <laughs> down at the LAPD. <laughs> he does his own freelance security detective work. Right, yeah, we're, bringing the, we're bringing the feds today, man. Sometimes I team up it. with Shaq because he's a sheriff. No, you know. Carl is he's gonna sort you out, man. He works with Shaq. I'm sorry, you guys. Hey, uh, What's going on? No, Carl, tell him about Shaq. Listen, every time Ratic, he looks, what are you doing? He, he, he comes, he's always dude. You're not gonna live without. You're, you're not gonna live without your, your bomb. And all the uh, he really hates mushrooms for some reason. I don't hey, know Shaq why. is uh, Shaquille O'Neal's coming this way because he heard you do too many mushrooms. You know he's an officer, right? Buddy. He's sworn in. <laughs> he's gonna do something about those. This dude is shaking. Dude, hey, he's shaking. Hey, come he, on. He, hey, Ratic, there's no cop yes, coming from anywhere. His, his arm is coming, shaking. dude. Sha he's, okay, Shaquille O'Neal is coming over here scared. right now in his Bentley SUV, and he's gonna seize all your psilocybin. He's gonna take it, man. He doesn't want it on the streets. Ratic, are you are you gonna change your life and start behaving? Are you? All right, you're Carl, gonna start behaving. Tell him how he needs to behave. Hey, you're man. a police officer. Yeah, or you I work mean, with the police. Yeah, yeah. he works with the police. No, I mean, honest, you think that's cool? Honest, honestly, like you know, you walking in sorry, with the bomb. No, nah, no, nah, it's no, cool. No, it's no, cool. No, let's talk about. No, it. Listen to him. Right? No, no, listen no. To but him. like, like for real, like it's cool. Like we know you have a warrant out for your arrest. That's oh, why. Right? Yeah, we have. That's why <laughs> you didn't know why. That's why I was here. Wait, wait, that's wait, why wait. You, hey, Radic, Radic, here, Radic, Radic, stop. Apologize for getting naked. Apologize. Apologize. You're good. Apologize. You're good. I'm really sorry. Well, no, come on. You got to apologize on mic. On microphone. If you don't want to get arrested, you have to stay here. No, 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 stop, uh, stop, uh, stop, Ratic, Ratic. 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 Ratic, come here, you gotta get sit on down, microphone, sit down right here, you sit, gotta, down. Sit, down, sit down in front of Carl, sit in down fact, in front of Carl, sit down, sit you're down, you're being detained, Carl, tell him he's being detained, he's being detained, right, stop, Ratic, stop, hey. Ratic, hey, he's on the run, he's on the run, he's on the run, 340, 340, he's on the run,
Yep, we have a we have a mid twenties, long haired, slightly out of shape man with a rat like penis. I'm gonna go get him. Moving down Venice Boulevard. Uh, uh, hey, I'm calling it in right now, Ratty. I'm calling it in. <laughs> this nigga was shaking and borderline. He's so fair. He's serious. Ratic. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get arrested if you come back in, but it might be worse. <laughs> 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 and he's gone. Film him, Vito. He immediately. <laughs> 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 Vito, you got to film him. He just dude. turned on his heel and walked the fuck out when I told him he was going to get arrested. Bro, you dig, bro. He said, uh, why don't you apply to L.A. County Probation Department, Juvenile Hall? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I know. Wow. He's a soup. He got me in. How long no. did you work there? Uh, what? Over thirty years. Uh, over oh, thirty right years. I just retired. Wait, right. Over sit thirty down. years. Right, he, he, no, no. He sit just down. retired. Sit right, down. Dick. <laughs> right, Dick. He just sit retired. Right, Dick. He retired. Right. He retired. Come on. Right. Where are you going, homie? <laughs> hey, come on. He retired. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I mean, and and dude, as I walk in, uh -huh. I had no training. Wow, I had no training. I don't, I don't know anything. And he, I'm walking in, I'm dealing with. That was that was a killer note to go out on for yeah. your stand up oh, right good. there. Yeah, yeah, but, was but I just well, first of all, I love the bit. That was and yeah, Dino yeah, yeah. and Austin. I got to imagine you love that last bit too. Yeah. But uh, Ty, did you notice that uh, our friend Rat Dick Ralph fled in terror during the middle of your act? You walked Rat he... Dick. Yeah, why? Well, well beca because he is petrified of the police, yeah. Ty. Right. And he heard the way you put it, too. Yeah. What, how did you describe yourself? Probation. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you what I used to tell people when I came to work. Well, uh -huh. what did you tell Rat Dick? What did you say your job title was, your ex-job uh, I, I said I work at L.A. County Probation Department. I got yeah. hired. <laughs> it was <laughs> the way you said I know it's totally true. He's probably right. been there, dude. Right. He, he is. We think he might be on the lam right now. Right. Yeah. And that's why he. We, we've. This is a recurring bit. We've had a couple people on who weren't even in any way affiliated with right. correctional work. Uh -huh. He still thought they were cops in Flood and Terror. So that's why it was so great. We knew when you started doing your material, right. a sense yeah. of fear would just encompass his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I. This day, I just happened to be going to work. So I step outside of the house. I'm probably about from here to uh, the end of the wall there. So good, what, 20, 25 feet from here? From my car. I, I unlock the car with my fob. It was actually my right hand. I unlock it, and then I hear a pop. So I think, shit, it's fourth, you know, 4th of July just happened. Who the fuck is you know, firing fireworks? So I look to my left. I don't see anything. And then I look to my right. As I look to my right, the second shot goes off, goes into my arm and sh basically shatters my arm. Oh, my God. And I end up dropping the, the key. So oh my God. first instinct, I'm thinking, oh, I just fucking unlocked my door. I see the shooter just coming at me, just firing, right? Handgun. Yeah. So I'm I'm. What, what does the shooter look like? Can you tell at the time? At the time, no. The dude had a uh, face mask on with the, some green, looked like fucking, you know, Dishwashing gloves or shit on. What the fuck? COVID mask or like ski Co mask? COVID mask. Fucking COVID, dude. I know, dude. Yeah. Well, those so masks he had a COVID used. mask on and he had these fucking looked like dishwashing gloves to me. Jesus. And man. all I could think of, I'm fucking get to my car. So I get, I opened my my. I had a Camry at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a, a manager, so I get a free you know Camry demo. You know, yep. so I open the car. I take two shots into the back of my right leg. Oh. I fall right down there. So I pull myself behind the car door as he's just firing away into the car, you know. You have the car between you and him. I have the car door between me and him. That's Dude. it. That's oh, it. Legend. He's firing. Pop, pop, pop. And then a few seconds later, oh he fucking God. comes around the car door and shoots one right into my chest. You want to see the shot? Yes, dude. Hold it out. Duncan, Fucking. take a look. Uh, so check this out. Hey, I love you, dude. Dude, Bam. look at that shit. Hey, that looks dude. like a pimple, dude. So that dude. went in right there and came out right there. Wow. Dude, dude you're made of stone, Lucky. dude. That, that went fuck, off your yeah. bone like a fuck. Dude, you're... Yeah. So, are you sure you're not a mutant? Dude, you're you're unbelievable. So that's point blank, right? Like, I'm on the, I'm on the ground between the door and my inside of the car, and then... He's he's standing over me. Takes the first shot in, and I'm like, "Fuck!" One second, Baron. Uh, make sure the mic is near you because we really want to hear the. So yeah. so he takes that first shot, point blank, right into my chest. Oh my! I'm God. like, "What the fuck? Where am I gonna go?" So I yeah. dive into my car with my fucking hand, just my arm shattered, like like you know, down by my side. Uh -huh. I put my head under the wheel well, uh -huh. 
uh-huh. and he fires the rest of the into me, two into this leg, one into the hip, and two more into my left arm. Jesus you see Christ. entry entry here into my left arm oh here. Didn't God. get the cock though. <laughs> no, no. Hell yeah. Thank yeah. God. And then I still have one here. Oh wow. My God. One one bullet still left inside of my Wow. You wanna feel it? Yeah, yeah, dude, I want to feel yeah, that. I'm gonna come touch it. I'm, I'm coming to you, no, Baron. No you've problem. earned yeah, everybody's Baron, respect. I'm coming to I, touch I it. I love you, bro. Yeah. We should. We. I think we got to go to Washington and do a video. Ah! Baron. You can push on it. It doesn't hurt. Why can't they just take that fucker out? It's right at the surface. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't. It just. It just came up now. So because it came in, I had two that came into here. They took one out. One ended up stuck inside. Can they get that sucker now, though? They could. I'm not. I, I like it. I think it's dude, Baron. It's a, you're, you're keeping pussy. that. You're keeping he that. Yeah. For pussy layout. You're freaking yeah. keeping that, and you do do that yeah. for pussy. I hope. <laughs> you should I'll uh, pay the fifth, or get it extracted and turn it into a necklace, dude. That'd oh, be a, that'd well, be they cool. extracted three. So that's the thing. Out of the nine, the nine shots, um, three they were able to get out. Hmm. The rest are in your body? So so three went through. Okay. Through and through. Three didn't, and they took three out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's three. One in this leg and one in this leg and one in the arm still inside. Damn. And they can yeah. they, they it doesn't do anything? Well, they said it's more it takes you're more risk of doing nerve damage, trying to fish bullets out between nerves yeah. and stuff like that. It's not worth the risk. Gotcha. So yeah. Right. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, don't <laughs> don't do it too hard, all right? I I you gotta do it. Dude. I can't act like a fan of love. I'm gonna show you. Dude, I, uh, you got Danny you want me to? Nope. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm gonna do a POV here. Yeah, you get this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same one. thing in our first porn you and I are shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Um, that was nothing. I mean, that was just a walk in the park, man. Yeah. That I feel like, super I feel like funny, Leo though. got a good kick. I don't know. Oh, oh shit, man! That oh, was my God. Gucci Berry. I don't even know who you are, man. You're a superhero in That's many ways. Austin. This is going to be fun. And why do we have absence? Because it was requested by a very special guest. A very, 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 very special guest. Why, you may ask? Why? Why is he special? Well, he's a draft dodger from Russia. He draft dodged his way to the United States. He escaped Putin's grasp. And sure enough, he would have been this moat in the war because you can tell by looking at him, Nikki, correct? Yeah. That you wouldn't have been shit in the war, dude. How long would you have survived in the war? Uh... I don't know, bro. <laughs> Maybe one day, but I will not go there for sure. But even if even if I got drafted, I will not go there. I will go to prison because I, I don't like. That's I'm I'm thinking that this war, there shouldn't be wars at all. But this mm-hmm. war specifically, it's it's crazy. It's they're, pointless. Yeah, they they're killing people. They're sending their own people like meat. So mm-hmm. no, bro. I will not go to this war. It's very scary. What's happening? Uh- when I was when I was trying to get the tickets just from Russia, mm-hmm. it was like 10k. Jesus. So 10k just the one flight to the Turkey just to get there. All right, there. so that is how you did it. No, 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 no. I bought for two k's, mm-hmm. like, and I just got really lucky with this you one. You got lucky. Two thousand so, dollars you spent on one ticket. Yeah, $2, maybe another. another Honestly, it seems pretty good to evade war. You know what I mean, Dino? <laughs> is that, is you that would that be tough? fucked. See who's got two k <laughs> to evade the war, motherfucker, Dino? You're done. Bye. <laughs> is that is that U.S. dollars or the Russian? Yeah, of course, of US, course, yeah. U.S. dollars. So, our, we, so, do you even have a currency at this point? Is uh, the Russian ruble just done? No, no, we have one. Yes, of course. Right now, it's like eight rubles for one dollar. It means uh, ten thousand bucks. It's like eight hundred thousand rubles. It's a lot wow. in our country. It's a lot. All right. So, so tell me when you started hearing about people getting snatched up. Because at the bar, you basically told me that people would just go, they were taking people and they put them in a van and you're gone. How was it the dodge? How was the draft working in Russia? Uh, in September, they like, okay, uh, to war going people on, there was a law, like people going only who got skills and everything, who was already in the army. But after a few days, uh, in the whole country was the same. My friend called me from my studio when we was just sound engineering. We was recording artists and everything, mixing their tracks. And he called me like and told me, man, you shouldn't go to work today. I'm mm. like, why? 
I need to go. He told me, one of our guys right now who got health problems, who got health problems, uh-huh. really health problems, like he, he got poor vision, he can't even see normally. Yeah. Uh, he, they, police just came, took him to the van. They, were, said, they were just sending fucking Mr. Yeah. Magoo? Dude, I'm envisioning <laughs> Mr. Magoo right now. Tupac, you know who Mr. Magoo is? He just, Mr. Magoo will somehow survive in battle, though, just by being super lucky and just walking through and the bullets just miss him. Bro. But that is messed up. What's this blind motherfucker going to do, dude? I don't know how they, they told, like, only healthy person, only only who got skills and everything, mm-hmm. who already been in the army, but they was grabbing everybody. Yeah. You got health problems. Don't you know how fuck. Russians, you guys kind of struggle with, like, showing emotions a lot, you know what I mean? Were you guys showing some emotions when they were fucking drafting some people? Or was it like, oh, no, they are coming to get us? No, this is problem, huh? No, bro, no. Or was it more like, they're coming to get, fuck, we're fucked, bro, we have to get out. Like, how was it, for real? Uh, Did you scream and say fucking shit? Uh, I think every normal person will just scream and do something yeah. trying to just... What did you do? Did you scream? Well, me? No. I was at home at the time. I was like, uh, he told me like, you shouldn't go to work. I'm like, okay, I, I will not go. And he told me about this guy. <laughs> I was at home and I was like, fuck my life. In three days, they okay. was t- they was telling that they will close all borders. You, you so let me get this straight. You're fucking sitting down, right? And then th- the news hits you and you go... Oh, I should not go to work then, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, and then you just started looking online for tickets or what? Uh, I was thinking at first, uh, for, for first few, a few, for first whole day, I was thinking like, what should I do? Because I got the family, I got mother, I got father, and what should I do today? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, dude, to be honest, I mean, I have to be honest, like your neck is fucking striking, dude. Like, whoa. I can't, wait, I have to like, like give me like a few, like, just let me take it in, dog. Well, yeah, let me just, wow. Take off dog. your shirt, fuck it. Yeah, if you want, can you take off your shirt? Yeah, let's see more. Fuck let's yeah, see more dude. neck. Dude, t- uh, let me see. Yeah, I need as much neck as possible, dude. Is anybody, what's that one Edgar Allan Poe poem where the guy, he yeah, has to take tell, out. Telltale Heart? He has to, no, the guy, he has to take out the guy's eye with a spoon. I think that's like, Telltale Heart. No, I don't no, think so. Wait, it's. It's some other no, one. No, it's some other one, right? It or was maybe, No, no, maybe he did. Maybe he killed the guy and then he buried the him. Yeah, he buried him, right? It's, there's two stories in one. Exactly. Story. No, it's Telltale Heart. It's like the eye, the eye. It's like right now for me, it's like the neck. Like, I want to come the at neck. Long Neck. I want to behead him with a lawnmower blade. And then, and then, dude, I mean, I would keep the fucking head in a, in, a, in a jar, dude. I'd put it in some fucking, what is that? What do you need to put it? Like, what did, what's his name? Put it from in? Dahmer? I don't know. From Mother Hyde, yeah. Hey, Dahmer, hey uh, you come with an entourage. Is that the case, Long I Nick? know, boss. How are you? You got an entourage yeah. here. And then, Long Neck, for a social media professional, you seem very uncomfortable around a microphone. You're you're welcome to talk. A little that. closer, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I'm going to in a minute. Hell, you haven't done an see, interview in a see, minute? you forgot how to do this? Hi, my name's Long Neck, saying words. Pretty much. It's uh, all good, Long Neck. I mean, look, I'll tell you what, man. You're you're big time, all right? You, uh, you get a lot of views on the internet. I mean... Things you do are pretty gnarly. I actually checked out a couple of your videos and some girl was jerking off your neck like it was a cock. And yeah, I thought that that was spectacular. Guy. And those ideas, bro, they come out of your head? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you about the time that uh, my, my neck first turned long and shit. What? He just so, got canned material he launches into. So, uh, <laughs> Is this Letterman here? Yeah. Did you check this story with our producers? Austin, yeah, did you approve of this? So, uh, your I neck. One time, uh, so I'm yeah. me. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you the story. Real quick. Sure, hit me with it. Hit me with the log neck. So, so uh, one time uh, I was, just, you know, laying in bed. I hit up this girl. Hit me up. Oh shit! Of course. So you know, I'm like, okay, you know, you, you wanted to chill and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's so, like uh, <clears throat> you know, you know, you know, one time. Uh, Don't let Nico Villa Cruz find out. <laughs> one yeah, time, this, Nico uh, be pissed. You know, she started striking my neck and shit. She and started like, striking your neck. Yeah. I'm like, holy, holy fuck. Yeah. And my, yeah uh, my neck just started getting longer and shit. And I'm I, like, gosh, damn. Are you kind of uh, like yeah, LGBTQ dog. friendly with the neck, dog? Like, you neck guys, do you let guys jerk it off too? Or? Uh, guys try to jerk it off. But what do you do to them when they try? Um, sometimes you got to let them get a. A tug, you feel me? A lot of tug or not? All right, we have a guy named I feel you. who would love to tug that neck. I feel you, dog. Yeah, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I'm not a Thai boxer. I want to make that clear. Mm-hmm. But I think one roundhouse kick for me, I could disintegrate you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, you can't, man. Oh, shit. I know. If I kicked you in the ribs, your body would break a long neck. I, well, he would never. He's peaceful. But I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. If I had a bat and I took a swing at your, <laughs> at your, uh, 
<laughs> just look kind of like the middle of your body pretty much anywhere. He could block it too, Leah. It wouldn't yeah, matter. Even if you blocked it, dude, I, uh, I'm i I'm cutting you clean straight in half, bro. Have it you is. seen Gladiator? Yeah. Have I'm you seen the chariot and, scene and, and in you, Gladiator, we're dude? We're talking about a blunt baseball bat, but you are, <laughs> like, you're going to be in two pieces at the end of that, dude. I would literally wrap my neck around both of y'all necks. <laughs> <laughs> dude you do kind of, he reminds me of like of the the serpent in beetlejuice i don't know if you've seen that movie i have there's it, uh it's pretty gnarly yeah he looks so, sort of like it wow all right put the scale right there in the middle and i need you uh, to test it dino make sure it works I just it. I all right like yeah, let me take my shoes off. what are you at you're one 130, 129 all right get on it's there 129 don't lie give yourself take them earphones off actually you might not need to yeah now go for it I don't know. That might add like another ten percent. Right. Wow, you are. Oh my god. Let me see. Oh my this. god, he is, bro. He's Danny, he's sixty pounds. Pick him up, Danny. Can you pick him up? Pick him up. Have you showered today, Long Neck? Uh, I'm probably sweaty. I'm not gonna lie. Should I video <laughs> this? <laughs> is there a towel? Let me see. Is <laughs> sweaty. Would you mind sweaty. fetching us a towel just so I can have a layer of protection between Long Neck and myself? Look, I think that you don't have what, a towel. Nah, Look, given I've been just air drying. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say this long, Nick. Given the cards that God dealt you, and listen, some would say it wasn't the best hand, but I'll tell you this. You have done the absolute most any man that looks like you has ever done in the world. It, you've gotten some solid pussy, dude. I can wash my head. Okay. And that's all that matters. Solid pussy, solid pussy. I'm going to do a cheerleading move. He's going to be my flyer. Hell yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my God, that's insane. That's, that's insane. That's insane, bro. Does that hurt or no? I mean, I mean, I guess we should let Priyank tell us what's going on. Yeah, Priyank, give us a play-by-play. -play. You're Joe Buck. So what's going on here? <laughs> dude, Joe Buck. <laughs> You're Troy Aikman, dude. Give us some color. So what do you think is happening right now? What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? I have never seen a venomous snake. Oh. Come, no, but come on. And, play the expert. And, this is improv, dude. So let's see. Yeah, so what's going on? The reflection, on? I cannot. Oh, they're going to eat that guy. Can, Dino, can you turn the TV a little bit toward me? We got we to gotta get our... Uh, you are Tony Romo right now, dude. You're an ex-player. <laughs> you used to charm snakes. And now you're a commentator. You're you're sort of a savant. You can predict how like what move he's going to pull on the snake before he does it. Mm -hmm. Like if he's going to hit yes. a fucking pentatonic scale, that's going to send the snake into a frenzy. <laughs> you can sense it coming on. Oh my so they God. are right now... Going home or coming? <laughs> I'm like, so what, this oh, guy's so charming, dude. Okay, so they are, they are uh, right now going to the village where the snake belongs to. Okay, to, nice. So that they're taking him home. It can, cute. yeah. It it should meet uh, its family sometimes, you know. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. They get lonely they, snakes. Yeah. It's so it's like on so, vacation. It's going home to see its family, yeah. like from its job. Yeah. It so that, a timeshare so that, in the city. Yeah. <laughs> you need to keep them motivated. You know, then then right. they can right work with you i see you this is uh motivated. this is one of the guy's wives right here mm -hmm. the cow <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. okay um that's Priyank, what do you this, uh, <laughs> uh the uh the snakes uh so is it something that's kind of passed down from generation to generation like to me like my dad was like i played baseball <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna play baseball so if <laughs> that's what i'm saying you, you <laughs> Did you, was there a time when like, would it, would it be kind of like after a family meal or something, you just, you guys sent, or maybe you go to the living room and there's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, yeah. It's like, yeah. Okay. Like they, are, they have the flute and, <laughs> yeah, have, you know, yeah. okay, you sit around and the, no, like, it's, like, it's beautiful. yeah, you, you know, in vacation time, you yeah. do this, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like there is someone expert in the family oh. and they like tell us about okay. the things, how to make them feel Good. Feel how to good. make them follow your instructions? Right. How to pet snakes? Right, because you can. So, it can be dangerous. And the, any yeah. of your friends get get. The awesome. He's amazing. What, <laughs> what kind of tunes make them feel some way? You know. Okay. Yeah. So there's so, a lot of tunes. Yeah. There's there. a like deep study about that. So. Yeah. Oh like God. some of them really yeah. like Dolly Parton. Some wow. of the snakes. Uh -huh. Okay. And like as a rule, all of the snakes, <laughs> all of the snakes hate Billy Joel. Oh wow. It's nice when an article gets written about us, Leo. That. Mm doesn't start off with like comedian in quotes yep goes on vile rant mm -hmm. or bachelorette star yeah. accused of sexual something or other yeah exactly that's mainly the articles out in the uh in the old media or mostly that those are the headlines that you hear from me the old media leo oh yeah but today danny today well 
I think there's internet. It's like it's like one of those things. You want something on the internet saying that you saved someone's life forever. So it's it's there forever saying that we saved a human life. Austin, why don't you get over there and show the people the article? Yeah, because but, you have this. There's an ad over it. Yeah, we right now our audience is being compelled to subscribe to a mailing list instead of saying <laughs> that we're heroes. Yeah, there it is. There we go. YouTubers save woman overdosing on fentanyl within minutes of arriving in San Francisco to document the city's crisis. You know, Leo, this is the press coverage we've yeah. been destined for we 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 are and look we got a little unlucky because that might be that's just like the worst title that we could possibly they could possibly make about us what would let's let's why don't we brainstorm some better titles two handsome youtubers save the day exclamation point two big dicked yes. hilarious youtubers yes. revive an overdosed homeless woman but yeah. not before the Italian one has sex with her first. <laughs> <laughs> Two giant YouTubers that happened to be a couple of the biggest ladies men that you'll ever met saved a woman and then were denied time at local comedy st uh, st stage. That's the biggest one. Yeah. Is the punchline denying us. Yes. You know, it's uh, right here. When you save a life, especially when you do it on camera, I think, Leo, that that is equivalent to about 10 years of stage time under your belt. Oh, my God. You nailed it. It's like being it's like going to thousand a thousand open mics. It gives you a just immediate just well, you should you reserve five minutes at basically any stand up venue in the United States. You know, I was really being modest asking for five. Mm -hmm. They should have given us forty five. Yeah, they should have been like, all right, guys, you're headlining tonight. We actually, uh, we told uh, Michael Blaustein and uh, and and Trevor Wa uh, Wallace, <laughs> Lawrence, La Wallace, yes, Trevor Wallace, that they need to get out of town. Trevor and Lawrence and some of the Jaguars were going to come by and do a couple <laughs> open warm-ups, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. Just, but, uh, just some drills for the audience. Yeah, man. But it, it's bullshit. But I think now everyone's on our we, side. We want to clarify that Michael Blaustein and Trevor Wallace weren't the headliners that night. No, they weren't. It was a couple of random comics. Yeah. What are you doing, Leo? You starting start, beef with Stiff I Socks, start, Yeah, I want to start a beef with a crosstown... <laughs> fucking pod that has a lot more fans in the female yeah, generation it would true. help us out if we get into this beef with them we might get we might get 20 percent of their female crowd over here you know nicole why are you calling me this well because i care about him as a friend i love him as a friend in fact and there's other there's something else that you must know about him Pull the okay card. Pull the bachelorette card there's something else that you must know about him um nicole are you are you uh uh are you listening? Yeah. Don't say nothing. Fuck. What? I'm not. I'm not. Stop. Saltine is a sex offender. What the fuck, bro? That's not true. And, um, you know, bro, he wanted to tell you. Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. Yo, give me the gas. I'm, so I'm sorry. It's okay. Talk it out. She hung up. She hung up, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you just fucking dude. fucked my entire no, shit. No, bro. no, no, dude. You know how pissed she sounds? <laughs> you know how fucking pissed. Call her bro. back, dude. Was it the kitten thing? Dude, was it the kid thing about the suckling bro, giddy? Are you fucking it, kidding me, bro? Was it the suckling giddy thing or what? Call her back, Selfie. Call, 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 call her back. Call her back. Call her back. Call her back. And you have to talk on the phone to her this time. You have to talk. <laughs> Maybe step off and call her. Maybe I think that's I think on the, the podcast. No, on air. On the on air. air. On the air, baby. I can take a little wee-wee. Oh, uh, on the air. Call her. Call her, baby. Dude, you just fucked. No, I didn't, dude. No, I didn't. No, it was a joke. Nah, bro. Just like, tell her that one of your friends stole your phone for a second, dude. She literally <laughs> sounded so pissed, bro. Dude, tell That's her one of your cool. friends stole your phone. <sighs> Ollie, can I have you end this podcast? This looks really fun. Can you list everybody in this room that you could have sex with in order of first most to last most? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, That's why not, weird. dude? Yeah, in order. Okay, guys, uh, we're, we're back. We're back. And okay, just wait, to wait, remind wait. everybody, just to remind everybody who's in the room, we have yeah. Leo the Tavio, uh -huh. Danny Mullen, we have Brooks, we have Harley. Then the off camera people, we have Dino, Ashley, Priyank, Dr. Octopus, and Austin Schlosser. This is the strangest collection of yeah. men and women I've seen in this room I ever. Would, 
I would say yes. It would be a shame for Holly not to rank everybody. Rank oh one, one, to, one, one to whatever, and then uh, and then we'll wrap up the pod. Uh, this I, I Harley looks the, very confident. You can tell Harley knows he's going to come out. I was doing it in my head, actually. I was like, <laughs> I was like uh, Ashley first. No, I was like. Uh, uh, this one, because obviously I'm super straight. Yeah, uh, I have a vagina. This yeah. one, uh, that one. <laughs> uh, I've never been with uh, an, an Indian uh, for a person <laughs> yeah. for this. Good. That's good. Uh, and then you're all like varying flavors of white, and like yeah. that's, I'm tired of that. Sure, so sure. I don't care. All right. it, it won't advance your career. Yeah, you guys yeah, at that Leo's point. not really that white. I him at the bottom. I don't want to battle for dominance. You know? <laughs> I don't want to. Do so that. what you're saying like, is you're a top and he's a bottom. <laughs> we would fist fight and then yeah, I don't know. want that. They're both tops. Dude. We'll like That's fall in love doing something yeah. like that. I think that. we end up missionary. I'd missionary rather a guy. Game. I'd rather a guy 69. I can hold Very down oh, easily. God. Yeah. Austin or uh, no, because him, him being bigger and thicker than me will throw me off. In the, that, in the, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, Harley, that was a beautiful breakdown, actually. It was. Holly, I'm sorry I have to follow that, but let's yeah. hear right. from the straight woman. <laughs> okay, should I go from most likely to least likely or least? Yeah. yeah. Most. most likely to least likely okay. is great. Yeah. Most, likely, most likely, I love a man in power, so I'm going to put Danny as number one. Okay. His name is on the channel after all. True. Two, I might tie you two because I'd let you spit roast me. Ooh, that'd be nice, dude. Yeah. Harley, there's going to be that battle for dominance again. I, yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. It's she's she's the one that's on, she'd be on the receiving end of yeah. all. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we'd just be we'd, locking we'd, eyes. On we'd split end. that bitch in half. <laughs> <laughs> we have a switch you, on her mind. back with that. Each dude. of us, we'd be playing Smash Bros. While yeah, we are yeah. the Smash Sick. Bros. Hell yeah, that'd yeah. be dope. Yeah. Yeah. I like some Mortal Kombat too. Right. Okay, next would probably be Brooks because he's artistic. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm just like Hot. if I'm in the group. wow in L. A. How'd you find an artistic guy in L. A. It's so crazy. Um, next. So that's that's the top third, okay? So top that's third, top three. Yeah, we can all be very proud of ourselves, boys. Oh yeah, we made it. Everybody on, on camera. camera. Right? We made it. We made it. <laughs> okay, next, I'd probably put Dino. Okay. Because he reminds me of everyone I had a crush on when I was obese in middle school. Oh, <laughs> he and does. You're like, like the skinniest one. Is what I want. Yeah. <laughs> and if he was that. one of your high school bullies, he would have called you fat. Oh, for Make sure. Make no mistake about that. Oh. Right, Dino? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I was kind he of likes in, to call I fat. think I would be into it. Sure. <laughs> probably. Um, okay, and then next, I'd probably do Austin. Okay. Uh, I'm, on, right. the, on Good. the board. Thank you, He's Austin. Yeah, board. it was getting dire. He, it was he, about to get very he dire. invites me to party, so I, I have sure. to. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, and then. Next, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> how old is everyone? Dr. In here? Is how old girl. is everyone in here? Everybody's 18, that's for sure. <laughs> There's a range from 36 to who's the youngest? Probably Dino. Dino, yeah. or how old are you now? Fucking 19? He's, you're 20. 20. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Just yeah. As long as there's a two in front. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quit acting all high and mighty, Harley. Um, <laughs> next would probably be, sorry, what was your name, babe? Priyank. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Priyank, you're not last. Yeah. You ain't last, dude. That's that was, huge. That would sell on OnlyFans, dude. Wow. I like his bomber jacket. A 7 Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, oh my gosh. All the Indian guys who follow you. Oh. Like, That's me. You need to get him tested and fuck him. If he, if he fucked you in his 7 Eleven after hours in uniform, oh my God, they would breaks the internet. It. That's dude. it, dude. Breaks OnlyFans, at least. I'd pay $15. Exactly. So I'd lock the video. That's right. Well, yeah, I think we all. I made the pricing up. I have no idea if that's in here. the it only. Be, it would be forty. But forty for that one. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Harley, would you pay forty? I would. I hit my boy up. I'm like, what's that? OnlyFans leaked Discord yeah. again. <laughs> Get a there Reddit. You there we go. <laughs> so you might actually make more charging fifteen. That's true. Think yeah, about more that. People would buy it. I but suppose. for right now, Ashley or Doc Ock, what's it going to last? See, I'm having a tough one with this one because I am only gay for pay. That's the only reason. Mm. Well, Ashley has a dick. Okay. Yeah, but it would still be good for her. Trying to be it's still gay yeah, because it's... Ashley identifies as a woman. That's that. true. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can't say you can't. And say she, was yeah. you know, she was oh, high up on my list. Yeah. She was high up on my list, and I want I want to be straight. Be so yeah. that's Second gonna. I mean, yeah. Harley chose her second. And you know I'm straight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Harley, your list it was again a work of art. So I don't even. Doc is looking so sad right now, dude. 
We just were at the gym for like an hour and a half. I bet you just he, our confidence was there. And the, <laughs> you just tore him down. He has sex yeah. with someone though, so I don't feel bad for him. Exactly. Yeah. He's got a yeah. girlfriend. He, yeah. he he's a show off. And with with you almost destroyed his, his yes, relationship with her. You remember that when we were camping? Oh, because he asked to sodomize my asshole in yeah. the tent. <laughs> 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 we uh That's we why I've taken that. off so many points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he so did ask to say it was the it was the Proposal of the sodomizing my asshole that's <laughs> put you at the bottom, Doc Ock. That's I right. Apologize. Well, you want to say you went for it? because he looks wow. like a yeah. problematic menace. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> anyway, yes. uh, I will be going to the police to file a restraining order. Please don't respond to this and don't ever contact me again. If you do not listen, I will be going to the police tomorrow. I think she loves you, bro. Austin thinks she's polite hard to get. I think Epstein would agree. No, sh no, like, what? Have y'all ever had a chick say that? I've yes. done. And Ever, <laughs> it's super typical to have a girl say that. <laughs> Everyone, no, it's not. Yeah, dude. to call the police in a restraining order. <laughs> no, three bro. times this week, mother. <laughs> it's it's no, bro. Have you ever had a chick say that, bro? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, what the. F what it's, happened, bro? It's it's sort of like her like being like, haha, you want my number? I don't know. You gotta take me to coffee first. Yeah. Same thing. They're not a big deal, dude. There's something the two brothers did out in the in the universe. Yeah. Here that that I it just made me think about the two brothers that we know. What and, the fucking island we, boys, bro? The island boys made out with each other. That shit was in my Austin? feed. I was so like, get this shit out of my this. feed, bro. If you don't know who the Island Boys are, I'm not watching this again, dude. They kind of blew up our the bar audio. stool. There were two guys that are they're just tatted up all over the place. They're like Yatted makeshift up. rappers. I don't know what it is, but check out what they the did, Boys bro. Yeah. Damn. See, she texted me, "What's up, bro?" Mm -hmm. That's all right. She'll listen to the message. Yeah, and then she'll fucking block me. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Come Dude, on. I, I'm not liking that this shit, bro. No, you got to. It's important for your development as a man. All right, good thing I don't have my glasses on, This dude. is a new it's clip. Have they done it multiple times? Kid. I guess I Leo know. and I can't really yeah, talk shit. We've definitely oh, kissed Oh, there it is. Oh, oh what? Dude. Uh, oh. Bro, wait. Look at the guy on the right. Look how, like, he looks so down bad in his face. Go replay that. They I'm look sorry. identical to each other. Nah, what are you talking about? Nah, bro, but look at his face at the end after he stops kissing. Pause it. Stop. He's trying to look all gangster and shit, but you could tell in his eyes deep down he, wanted he, is, some more? he is fucking down bad. Because months ago, I don't know if you guys remember, they were on, what was it, Impulsive. And they were like, yeah, I won't need to sell my chains or nothing. Like, because the one dude that got kicked off. It's because they sold name? their soul to the yeah. devil, dude. And, and the, the one gay. guy, the, the Christian guy was saying like, well, you guys should try to invest in something you don't think, you know, like instead of just buying chains. And they were like, bro, we're millionaires. You, we don't need to sell our chains. Never, bro. And then. Now they're doing this, of course. Yeah, the, like, Adam Twenty Two's bad. got an interview with their former manager. Uh, the title is hilarious. It says, uh, "Island Boys former manager claims they are broke and possibly gay." <laughs> <laughs> the gay thing's been confirmed. Broke, I certainly believe. How does this happen, though, where two brothers agree to tattoo every inch of their body, get the same ridiculous haircut, and then make out in the pool? Do they even put out music? No, they don't. They, like, I, th I think they do, but they had like one big song, right? Like just, I'm like, I ain't boy. It's not even, it, it, was, like a, it was a clip. And I don't then they think made they a song. had, yeah. I, don't, I think they kind of made a song that it wasn't, it wasn't really good. Or I don't think it was it, like a freestyle. I don't think that's what they do. I, I don't know what they do. What do they do? Can we look up? Well, what do the I, Island Boys I had do? A, I, when I was like down in the gutter, bro, when I was 18, you know, around a lot of sketchy people, I, um, I was friends with someone and. I won't say his exact name, but it, it's it rhyme. It's almost like Devil in a way was what he went by his name. Um, um, and also, I want to commend you. You've come a long way. You're now sleeping on a couch in downtown. So yeah. Well, then I was fucking homeless, and I've I I've, I've lived in you. Marina Del Rey I'm since then. Yeah, 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 whatever, you, bro. yeah. Um, but nice bro, my friend would <laughs> fucking beef with these guys on IG Live before you they were famous. Look at Austin, what they do, and he would like. He would like big dick them on IG Live. Like, you know, they act like they're gangsters. My friend was actually a gangster would get on live and be like, you know, testing them and they'd get scared and shit. They're little pussies, bro. Like they used, they got famous from beefing with people on Instagram lives originally. Um, just like six nine type shit. You know? I think they Troll. just make like viral videos, basically. Yeah. TikToks. Their net worth reached $2 million allegedly from TikToks and, and cameo shout outs. I believe it. And then maybe they do like some promoting but I don't think they're really like, maybe they sell a little merch. They probably, like all kids that get a lot of money, they started blowing it real fast. Oh yeah. And now, you know, hopefully they're making out 
on fucking OnlyFans is going to give them some cash. Oh, I thought you were saying hopefully they're going to make out more. Well, they're... you know, I mean, I know I know Dino is going to subscribe. Uh, but, uh, Hell like, no, nah, bro. Get back Dino, on Dino yeah, would never no do merge, that shit. And they, they charge people to do, like, collaboration videos with them. What island are they from? Fucking Florida, bro. They, it's not I, even an island, I think bro. they try to act like they're from Cuba or something. But, oh, I don't know if you guys yeah, saw the like conspiracy. Cuban. People think that they were a part of the um, Jeffrey Epps, Epstein Island because there's two twins in a photo with Jeffrey Epstein that look just like them. And they grew up right near that fucking island. You're a kind of a pickup artist, right? I mean, you yeah. have... I mean, it's a gay term, but I'm the number one, the best. No one has done more pickups live. You know pickup really? artists do it edited because they cut out the cringe I've moments. seen some they of the They cut shit. out the cringe moments, these... Of course they do, bro. Of They're, course, I believe I believe you, bro, because I've seen some of your TikToks. Uh, like I, uh, I, I've, you know, I watch. You do comedy, so you know I yeah, can pull exactly. You have the same because you're style funny, pull. exactly. Funny, funny, funny. Being finger, funny, finger. yes. But you're also, come on, man. We got a little bit of that tall priv, the tall privilege. Come on, I can debunk you. Okay, debunk. Well, I, of course I could debunk you because what I tell people when they give me that shit because I feel like I'm like, I could tell you what to do to get a chick. I believe that. When the a, same uh, whores that like me like you. Yes, so of course. We are the same type. Yeah. We're, now, when girls approach us. turn the lights off and swap. Right. That's we could illegal. easily. We don't do that. No, but we could. Yeah, we're not. You guys are giga chats. <laughs> but I, I was going to say, like, Stop if you want to see uh, a, a, an influencer who's identical in appearance to me, uh -huh. height, weight, looks he's better looking has millions of followers when i had like a hundred viewers on twitch uh -huh. hassan piker and you and watch hassan piker zirka mia melkova oh, three-way date and yeah. tell me are my looks caring or my personality tell me i think he has clout looks uh, everything he's and tall bro don't tell me that motherfucker's big He's huge. He's beautiful. God damn he's it. A, he's that he's big? Homosexual. He, he kinda he's looks, that big? He kind of looks like a younger you. Really? Actually, Fuck yeah. him, dude. He's like a non-straight. Oh, my God. Yeah. You guys look alike. Yeah. Really? He's like a womanly version. I'm a swing on him. Yeah. What the dude. fuck? Yeah. Yo, pull him up. Oh, dude, God. I'll put the chin down. Whoa, I'll take it, do? dude. I had a Mayweather defense, well, You just cut dog. his hair. Hey, if I had yeah. a fight you, it wouldn't be fun, dog. I'll tell you that. You're fucking... No, no it would be fun. I'm a fucking... I'm dying. It, it My organs like, are failing. You're going to kill me. He's the, the left of the liver, then. liberal version of you. Really? Well, I was fuck like, Hassan, yeah. dude. Yeah. Fuck Hassan, dude. Would this is you. But he's shorter. huge. Yeah. I don't like that he's huge. I'll be honest with that. I do not like that that's good. So he gets a lot of pussy. Well, pull a better picture. Don't do the homeless. Yeah, I know. He looks really bad in that pic, dude. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. one. Oh. Oh, that's a great one. I get but look, what this fucking show artist. Yeah. If you search up Mia Malkova Hassan Piker date. Yeah, I will. Do. I can't, it can't. is the most. Um, no, no, no. That sounds funny. Should it's, we watch some of it now? It's two hours of awkward. Here. Yeah. yeah. But let's watch some highlights from this. Uh, it's. Yeah, right. it's you know what's uh, weird? You I'm know I shit. I shit on LA. And Zerka and Hassan Piker date. Right. How do yeah, you? Uh, and Mia Malkova. She's the click. Oh, no, Mia, yeah, Mia Malkova. Yeah. They're like, don't uh, TwitchCon. Just, the hand. just think about TwitchCon. You'll find it. I think he DMCA strike that he got embarrassed or something. But yeah, he had a mental breakdown and tried to kick me off the stream. <laughs> like Zerka needs to go, and I was just fucking goofing off. Because you know, I wanted to bring it to the picking is up it, because this? our yes, fans, but, bro. But I think part two. I think we want to help our fans down. get more pussy. You know what I'm saying, Zerka? Like the people that watch this, I want them to get more pussy because they watch this pod. Sell coke. <laughs> What the fuck? That is a. If you're yeah. from LA, you know that that is one of the truest but, statements of all time. That is unfortunately part true. One, TwitchCon, Mia Malkova, Hassan Piker. That's all you need. This is day two. If you go day one, I'm telling you, <laughs> Let's this go, is going to traumatize. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. You're not going to like this. I'm not going to uh, like it because yeah, I want to. No, I want to have a leg uh, up. But that's I okay. But I feel like I'm going to cringe. If uh, uh, this is let's see, scroll down. Of course. Oh, oh, right no, there. One, Highlights. Yeah. Let's just go highlight. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, day one. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm at, no, no, scroll down. No way they scrubbed it off the internet. This guy's that much power. Uh, really? Uh, he got embarrassed. It's really this hard to find. pussy. Yeah. Fuck this guy, bro. Yeah, Yo, I hope he this flipped ends on up the on producer, LSF, too. Man. He flipped Fuck. on Raj and uh, freaked out him and said, You set me up to make me look stupid. No, this is not it. Uh, scroll down. Man, this is crazy. Uh, it, it had like millions of views. Maybe it's in there somewhere. Uh, go back. All right, so, search up John Zerka, Mia Malkova, Twitch. Oh, Let's yeah. see if mine is up. Because I'll post it to embarrass this guy. <laughs> yeah, you got to post yeah, Wait, if you can, you got to one up on this motherfucker. Yeah, I don't hate him. Because you know, no I'll tell reason. you what, I'll tell you what, I do, I do sometimes preach that being, 
you know, pretending that you're lib to get pussy is okay. <laughs> he might Absolutely. Be. Thank might. you, bro. You I'm a vegan, bro. Yes, bro. I'm yeah, a vegan I'm a in vegan. that pussy, bitch. Exactly. Oh, bro. You pretending you to be... Lie to the bitch. <laughs> bro, pretending to be lib to get pussy, <laughs> that she is says, allowed. I, and you know, <laughs> this is not a comedy bit. When yeah. she says you're a Pisces, mm -hmm. I go, I knew you'd know that about me. And God she'd be like, it. because I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> and I'd be like, <laughs> Every time I get it right. That is right. What baby. the fuck is a Capricorn bitch? Start <laughs> sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but you heard it here first, man. If you've got to pretend fuck? that you're into horoscopes, if you got to pretend. Horoscopes? We love you know whores. I mean? We love them. We scope whores. We <laughs> scope those whores. Oh, wow. It is scrubbed off the. I am so sorry for what we got. Can you get it up, though, at some point? We'll, we'll link no, it No, you'll the, never find it. God this is. Damn it. I can tweet and find it. Should I help you guys? Yeah, That'd be kind of dope. Bro, it, the point it. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to make is bro, you need the point yeah, I'm trying to make is about it. everyone who points at him and says, "Yo, your Gillette commercial Versace look." You mm -hmm. know how we have that fucking. We got that. What do we got? We got that European. It's that Euro. Uh, we look like I eat pussy, but not anymore. Right. Exactly. I don't like need that. to. It's the, I don't <laughs> need like, to. I'm eat good pussy. at eating pussy, but I've, but I'm I don't done. need to. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. done it enough. I'm already in the pussy eating hall of fame. We, I don't need. I don't need more. We have like a dirty Euro trash look. Exactly. And bitches love that. Yes. When you watch his game with women. Uh huh. Everyone who's come up to you at a party and said, it's because you're tall, good looking jawline. Right. They're all liars. It's because wow. of how you speak. Let's go. It's oh, baby. literally how I've, you speak. I've been telling people that for a long time, but nobody gives me credit. And I finally, I believe the mob. Yeah. I finally believed them. I was like, fine. You know well, what? For some Maybe whores, it is. Sometimes you, some, some whores, like, of course. they just literally at Walmart. Like, yeah, Walmart. baby. Yeah, exactly. Kind of cute. Then I go, whoa, off looks. Yeah, dude. Let's, it's, let's, if, okay. Damn. Okay. So most men go about their day and never get a, a whore to say, hey, you're hot, which is, hey, you're hot from a woman is like, hey, I'll suck your dick. And we, event, uh, on occasion, me and Zerka, we might get some whores coming up to us and, and saying Okay, we're something. lying. We're lying. Like 30% of the time when we're at the club mm -hmm. or a bar, mm -hmm. we are being approached. The there tall. we go. I'm not saying the good tall. looking. It's the, the tall. tall. So, yeah. That shit is so, fucking hacking. Because now we're being honest. You, yeah. You ever been sitting and talking to I get to approached girl? for cigarettes, <laughs> you know, you by get a, You look like you get approached for Fent. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, I get approached to Get to your buy weight up, dude. We weighed him on a pod. Steroids and coke. Let's once, go. Yeah, I like, 117. I one, no, That's problematic. That's what, no, he hit 117 That's on the pod. We yeah. hit, we saw it on the scale. Like, and we're like, bro, like you're 117 pounds. Because, like but because he now. looks like a nice Xanax dealer, they'll yeah. still fuck. That's right. Like, I, I, it's I, here well, somewhere. Well, I'll suck some dick for you. We're, we're not dick, telling you. We're not telling you, Saltine. We're not telling you that you need to 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 sell drugs to get pussy. Oh, but we're nah. telling you that it's I gonna help like you it. get pussy. I definitely look like it, bro. Okay, fast. You say you go for a walk. Just hold up, just stop. You haven't had sex since 2012. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you could fuck right now if you want to. Do you want to? They just ask you to go. Fuck up. Fuck up. And but a female escort <laughs> Why you say no to that? They turn the auto tune up Okay, this is kind of vibe. vibe Yo, you trade in the Pokemon But come on, my guy, get it on Like Donkey Kong <laughs> Whip it out and Take it out around town Stop clowning Stop clowning best. Go out and get some head. Get a little sloppy toppy. Ain't nothing wrong with sloppy toppy. Sloppy, 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 sloppy. Do you know what I'm talking about? You got a nice smile. Stop hiding it from the world. You got a nice smile. As we give Fez a verse. Say whatever you want, Fez. I was going to sex traffic. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it was in the attic. Feel it, baby. Feel it. Doesn't have to rhyme. Just Doesn't tell us your rhyme. story. Just tell us your story. We all suck a nightmare. I don't know what the hell am I gonna buy.
<laughs> Just music. <laughs> I'm tired of being lonely. I'm single, I'll be lonely. <laughs> you don't have to be lonely. This is therapy. Tell us how you okay. feel. Okay, first you look like you're having a stroll. <laughs> first having a stroll. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi for Bob Danny Muller. <laughs> With San Nicaragua, thirsty for some aqua, but a sex trafficker wanted his ass. <laughs> so we asked him to play Sonic, said his butthole was bionic, and the fez was on the motorbike real fast. Yeah. He was gonna get raped. In his mouth, in a favela, <laughs> lean to house by a sex trafficker. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, I think it would have been a future worth considering. Cause look at him now. Now, and then, yeah, now I, I'd love you to get into the details of what the jail was like, because I heard a little bit and it freaked me the f*** out. You want me to get into the oh. needy and the greedy? Oh, dude. So, I, um, I, I'm chilling in the, the one-person cell for a little bit, and reality hasn't really sunk in. Right. I think that my bond is going to pop up on the monitor. It's going to be five grand or something. Which bond do you get back? What, if you attend all your court dates, the bond comes back to you. So I'm like, I, I can just swipe my credit card. It'll be totally fine. Yeah. I'll be out of here. I'm very optimistic waiting for that. An hour goes by. Two hours go by. Three hours go by. One of the officers comes and opens my cell, and I go, oh, hell yes, here it is. And he says, Mullen? And I'm like, yeah. I'm taking you to the back. I go, what? I ask him again, do I have a bond yet? And he says, no, nope, no bond. And I say, uh, is there any chance an attorney can spring me out of here before Monday? And he just goes, I don't think so, man. I think you're going to be here until Monday. And you know what? They ended up telling me why that was. It was because they deemed you a, a very high flight risk. They, really? Yes. They thought because you were from California uh -huh. and if I can, I don't know, a real big time YouTuber, uh -huh. you were going to get out of there and flee. Flee the state. Wow. Flee they, the country, maybe. Flee the country, maybe. So, so yeah, yeah, continue. I, I was, well, I was not a flight risk. No. And I just wanted to pay the bond and then deal with things as usual. Mm. Well, they're taking me into the back of the jail. And right then it hits me that like, hey, I, uh, I, I'm actually probably going to be here for four days yeah. in this jail. And we get into the back area. It is, there's a circular hallway. And every 50 or so yards in this big circular hallway, there is an enclosure, not for animals, but for humans. Mm -hmm. There are common areas. There's about six of them in total. And prisoners are, are in there mingling around. And then all the cells are in those common areas. But they are, were at the moment out and about milling. And I see now like, ah, oh, shit. I thought it was bad in my own little private cell. They're now introducing me to the general population. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my little asshole, I realized, was in jeopardy. Oh, yes. <laughs> and this was, uh, this was eastern Tennessee, people. This was not uh, Beverly Hills. This wasn't Folsom, California, San Francisco Bay Area. Though I'm sure all of those jails probably have a lot of fucked up people in them too i'm sure yeah i mean la county just got a bunch of lawsuits levied against it for being a terrible place to be incarcerated yeah, our boy king croc do you remember that story he slept in the shower and we were like are you sure you weren't high on something but sure enough that's what they're getting sued for well it was pretty bad here too mm -hmm. <laughs> so i they open the door and i'm faced with like 40 guys all in oranges all white they put me in with the uh the aryan brotherhood Jesus. Just kidding. I don't know if any of these guys are not. <laughs> Who knows? But but I, I walked into that that room and I thought right away, OK, I'm going to be here for four days. Thank fuck I know jujitsu mm -hmm. because I cannot imagine 
being like just, I mean, Austin, you would imagine going to prison, how terrified you would be. Oh, dude. Or jail. I wouldn't jail. I would yeah. need to like shave my head. Yeah. Yeah. Like before I even got in there. I mean, he needed, you need to really join the Aryan Brotherhood. And yeah. Maybe, maybe suck someone's cock in order to save sure. your, your asshole. Yeah. I can always get the tats covered. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They, they have good, uh, they have good like removal now. You can they take most of the tattoo off, but yeah, it'd be worth it. Continue. Yeah, I mean, if I were Austin, I would just fall onto my knees and open my mouth the yeah, second I walked into that enclosure. hundred percent, yeah. But but I get in there and I'm just trying to smile and look confident because I watched a documentary on prison once where they said that was important to look confident. So I go in there, but it, I, I mean, part of me is like, this is so fucked. Yeah, here we go, and then. There is comfort right away because one of the guys in the enclosure, the big common area, recognizes me from YouTube. <laughs> Fuck. He's like, is that fucking Danny Mullen, yeah. dude? Yeah. He, he wasn't Mexican. I don't know why I said that. It was such a small town that I ended up going to the Burger King next to the hotel, and I found his brother, who he had, he had a contraband phone. So let's, let me explain yeah. this. So the guy that recognized me was he was a striped suit kind of guy, they call it. Like, he worked for the prison. He had a special suit that was striped instead of pure orange, and he helped with the laundry, he helped deliver meals. So they gave him privileges, one of which is he gets a phone that has no internet access as far as browsing the web. You can't make calls on it, but you can text. Right. So he immediately is super cool to me, and uh, he texts his brother, I guess, that Danny Mullen is in there. Right. And then you happen to be at the Burger King that his brother works at. Yep. And at this, those two things are happening at the same time. Yes. You meet the brother in Burger King. I meet that the other brother so in jail. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. But it was that small of a town where I just like ran into the guy. So I'm communicating with Danny through this guy's brother in the jail. But yeah. Then continue. And I text my dad which I realize uh, is, a, is a bitch boy little thing to do, but fuck you. I mean, I fucking take advantage of your connections. What else are you going to, who else you, would you have called? I mean, you didn't have a lawyer. I mean, I'm going to call my dad. I want out of here. You had to call your dad. <laughs> I, I, I text my dad because, you know, we had content to shoot that weekend and I didn't want to spend four days in jail. By the way, shout out to Dylan. That was the kid that worked at Burger King. That's the brother of... The, and of Robbie, the kid in jail that I met. Yeah, Dylan and Robbie, we love you guys. Love Fans you. of the channel. You guys, you guys are, awesome. are awesome. You like them, Fez? Fez. Oh, they would have awesome. a fucking ball with you in jail. Buddy. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, they wouldn't no just, way, you man. wouldn't be a virgin anymore, I'll tell you that much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they haven't seen a set of tits like that since they were on the outside. <laughs> okay, uh, continue, my friend. So once I meet this guy, Robbie, everybody in the jail is super cool. The young guys were all like making super funny gay jokes and just like just fratty. They basically had the sense of humor that a lot of our fans have. Dope, yeah. Like uh, the guy Robbie was scrolling through some pictures of him and his ex girlfriend, and then he scrolled to one with just him in his suit looking chipper. And then this random guy who looks like a criminal walks by and says, That's the day Robbie came out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> just like they're just making jokes like we would, just fucking around. Yeah. And even the old guys who were like in their 50s and 60s, that like I was showering because I wanted to shower. There's like, you better hurry up. We only have three hours in the communal area every day. And then you're locked down for 21 hours in your cell with just your cellmate with nothing to do. So they're like, you better hustle up and take a shower. How big was the cell? Well, uh, the shower, for, I'll get to the cell, but mm -hmm. the cell is the, the size of this room, like half of this room. Eight by tiny. Like 10 by 10 or something? Or? It's hard for me to say exactly, but I mean, it's, it's um, your bunk bed is half the length of it Jeez. and about half the width of it. So it's not much bigger than just your bed. And I'll get more into the cell, but I, so I shower and you're, people can't see your cock. I, I have a bit in my stand-up right now about getting raped in the prison shower, mm -hmm. and now I have a completely new take on that because I had to take a, a shower in jail. And, uh, you know, it's really the, the, the dropping the soap thing is what everybody makes a big deal about. But, I mean, at some point, like, when I got out of the shower, I had to dry off my shins, and I realized, like, hey, I'm just as vulnerable drying off my shins as I would be dropping the soap. So It's a concept. There. Yeah, there's, there's really no relief from, from rape threat when you're... I mean, yeah. like, if you want to dry your shins off, you're just as vulnerable as dropping the soap. Mm. But I'm in there, and there, the the shower, it's up to your nipples, the cement wall that surrounds it. So it's kind of nice. Your dick isn't visible, which for me wouldn't be good. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I'm next to, like, some 60-year-old guy who's just super nice, like, give me the lay of the land. Like, yeah, the judge is actually pretty cool here. And I found out the judge was cool on, uh, on yeah. Monday. But, and then I met my cellmate, this guy, Greg. 
and Greg was like a heavy in there for heavy narcotics or methamphetamine, if that is a narcotic. And I met him and he is just a, 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 a Southern or Appalachian meth guy. That's what he did. But he was nice to me and he, he showed me the lay of the land. And once we got locked down, I realized it was going to be me and old Greggy for the next four days for 21 hours a day. So you were you were you were kind of like like getting mentally prepared to stay for four days. Yeah. Well, I was optimistic that I would get out, but I was also like, hey, if, if you got to strategize for what's to come. Yeah. And at first I was strategizing like, OK, what do I do if Greg attacks me at 2 a.m. in my bunk? Mm-hmm. How am I going to be ready to fend off that attack? Mm-hmm. And again, dude, like if you don't know jujitsu and you're locked in a cell with a 50 year old guy who's there for heavy drug crimes, like how could you be confident you're going to be safe? Right. You can't. Like, I don't know how close the officers are to your cell. I don't think they're very close at all. No. So if he just attacked you or tried to rape you, like, he's going to have probably a few minutes before anybody arrives. Right. And you're asleep. Right. So that's you. That's what the scariest part about it was, how claustrophobic it was. You're locked up with a guy who is there for drugs. I don't, you don't know if he's dangerous or anything. He just says he's there for drugs. But... um. Yeah, that was fucking scary, dude. And knowing that I would be there for 21 hours a day and there was nothing to do. There's no TV. One of the one of the guys, again, they were super cool, all the guys in the enclosure. One of them gave me a book, which was some like 1960s Western. So I actually was pretty hyped on that. I'm like, okay. at, least, at least I got that. Yeah. The toilet is um, about me to Fez right now, which I don't know if we can see that on the cameras. It's about uh, three feet. So I, if I was going to take a shit... I would have to be squatting while pretty much making eye contact with my cellmate, Greg, while I took a shit and wiped. Jesus. Just right in front of him. Soap? They have soap in there? Yeah, you get a bar of soap. But your bed. So my bed is, first of all, it's covered in grime and like pubic hair. Like the, 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 the iron part of the bed. Not covered, but I see a lot of grime and I see multiple pubic hairs. Mm-hmm. Or body hairs, I don't know. What kind of light? They had like a fluorescent light in there or something? The light is, yeah, it's really unflattering, real bright, and you can see, uh, you know, the remnants of the guy who was in there before you. Mm -hmm. And the mattress they give you is pretty much like a a pool toy that's been deflated. Mm -hmm. It offers no real padding. Um, I mean, it's not even... It's probably about as soft as if I slept on this carpet that our feet are on. Jesus. Not great. So you're not sleeping much. Yeah. I, I actually slept okay. I woke up a lot. Another problem is they don't completely turn the light off at night. They just dim the light. So it, it's, which science has proven that you sleep best in a pitch dark room. Mm-hmm. And if there's any light at all, that's going to fuck with your sleep. Well, if you're in prison, I guess you're never getting a good night's sleep because that light doesn't go very low. That's what, yeah, that's, I don't want to compare that to the bachelorette, but they did have these giant lights that they would turn on at 8 a.m. and then turn them off at 4 a.m. And that was designed to give, keep you from sleeping much. Because yeah. the sleep deprivation is a big part of the reality show game Great. to kind of, you know, but anyway, continue. Sorry. That's, that's insane, but. <laughs> it's fucked That's, up, huh? uh, Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah. So you, so it was only off for four hours? Yeah, bro. We well, could only sleep about everybody. And we would all, the only time we were off mic was those four hours. Right. So we would talk like for at least an hour of that. So yeah. everybody, basically nobody was sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Well, at, at least in jail, they pretend they want you to get a healthy amount of sleep. I, I, I think they're shut off for seven or eight hours. The lights mm-hmm. are dimmed for seven or eight hours. But me and my cellmate, Greg, until like midnight are playing a one-on-one blackjack, which isn't very fun uh, if you've no. ever played it. Yeah. Um, he was like, I gave him the guy, Robbie, who was a fan of the channel because he worked at the jail. He gave me a bunch of snacks. I just gave them all to Greg because it was like hot jalapeno Cheetos Jeez. and top ramen and a hostess cracker cake. Wow. That I, I, I am not yet desperate enough to eat. Yeah, I did eat the prison food the next morning. I'll tell you about that. But I wasn't desperate enough to dive into this shit yet. So Martino, I'm going to go with Marty McFly. Yeah, he we call him on the podcast. We call him a couple more times. He we love him. Yes, I, I forget exactly how a few of those pods went. They're worth looking up. Yeah. But eventually we started getting him to do stunts for us for us. Right. And, and then- the first couple, Leo, were a little disappointing. Yes. If, if you remember, yeah. there was one where he, he uploaded a video for the boys 
And it was basically he just jumped onto the hood of some <laughs> old out of commission car yeah. on his property and chugged a beer. Yeah. And we said, uh, you know, Marty McFly, that would have been awesome if we were in middle school. Correct. As it stands now, though, I, I'm never going to talk to you again mm. unless you up the ante. And he up the ante. All right. I guess. I mean, I, I'm going to describe the prank the way it was described kind of in the, in the paper and, you know, and the authorities described it. But sure, because we don't want to editorialize here. No. Yeah. So basically, he, Marty McFly ends up going into a church while there's a baptism going. Was it a baptism, Marty? Oh, yeah. Marty, it was a baptism, correct? Okay, correction. Well, there was a baptism, right? But, like, by the time the prank actually happened, like, the front four row was kind of just got up and left, like, from all the swears and belligerent days. They weren't having it, right? So there was pretty much no kids. But, yeah, there was a baptism. We did kind of wait till the end. But, yeah, I guess. There was a baptism. All man. right. Well, a child yeah. was uh, I don't know, given over to God and Marty was given over to the authorities. Continue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then he decided that uh, he was going to whip that dildo out. Is it the same dildo, Marty? It is. One. No. <laughs> yes, it's legendary. Bro. I didn't throw it out or get rid of it. What the fuck wow. was I going to do with it? Bro? It's true. <laughs> I- I'm surprised the, the whatever they call the police up there didn't beat you with it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I didn't find it. <laughs> The so, Mounties. I'm surprised a Mountie didn't teach him some discipline. Seriously, I'm surprised you didn't get your ass beat. But Marty then goes up to the front of this church, and he he has a speech where he included all of our names, Danny, Leo Dottavio, Danny Mullen, Austin Slosher. I think Dino's name was in there. Mm-hmm. There might have been somebody else's name in there, but either way, he had his dildo out of his pants, and he he said all of a lot of derogatory things, plus all of our names, and then... He was charged with a hate, with a hate crime. Sure, and we never ever heard of him again until a week ago, where until Marty was in my DMs again, pitching mm-hmm. a a bachelorette thing. By mm-hmm. the way, he was still pitching something, but Marty got charged with a hate crime, and we we heard many different things from people. We were trying to contact you in Canada for a long time, but basically, did you do any jail time for this stunt? So. What ended up happening is like, so like we were left off of the last pod. You remember how I had the inter or like interrogation with the police, I guess you guys could see. So like, it was like a questioning, right? So like I ended up having to go, I forget what time it was. It was like kind of early. It was like 11 or like 12. I wouldn't even say one almost. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had there and I get there. And so at first, like I just show up and they're like, oh, just like go to the visitor desk and just like talk to the person, say your name. And they're probably going to give you like a little fucking stupid name tag or whatever it just says visitor right and i'm like okay whatever so i sit back on the bench and then that uh sergeant that like called me comes out from the back and he's like you martin he's like do you have two pieces of ad and i was like yeah i guess and like i showed him it and he's like can you come back with me like i really had no choice i was like okay well whatever i go like with him and like i didn't expect it to be like actual questioning like actually was like in a full-on interrogation it would took like four hours I think. Wow. It was like, oh, my God. Marty, light like in your face, like, chained to the chair? Oh, well, I'll tell you guys a funny fucked up thing. Um, like, during, like, I had to sit down, right? And, like, at first I remember being handcuffed to, like, the table, right? And, like, yeah, you just asked me questions, right? And, like, from what I was told, don't, like, say anything. Just be, like, no comment, no comment. And that's why it took so fucking long, right? And finally, well, there also just, like, wasn't, uh, I mean, it's easier to be silent when there's really no good explanation for what you did. <laughs> I mean, like, exactly. well, listen, like I called into this podcast, eh? And they wanted me to make up for doing a stupid stunt on a hood of a car, eh? So I just went in there and I threw out a bunch of names and I pulled out a str- It had nothing. You know, I can't really talk that much shit because we, I remember in 2019, we raided a church too. Yeah, we did. And so I can't talk that much shit, Marty, but it always hurts. Like, it's, it's one thing if you get busted and what you're shooting at that moment is like a, a masterpiece of comedy or at least a good video and the police can hear the idea and be like, ah, that's pretty good. But in your case, <laughs> in your case, I, well, yeah, I went to a child's baptism and pulled out a 12 inch rubber penis, eh? Like, there's, <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't just smack you down in there. I'm surprised they didn't they didn't fucking take a billy club to his asshole. Dude, uh, was there any violent altercation with the cops in Canada at all? No, okay, like like I said, like what ended up happening like after questioning, like it was like weird because like 
Like I said, it took like three hours and I wasn't saying shit, right? So finally, I'm like, I just want my lawyer. Like, that's all I need what to talk to. What were they doing for three hours if you weren't talking? What, were, what was going on for three hours? Fuck me. Just literally, they asked me, like, who's Savage Frank Films? Who's Marty McFly? Like, what were you doing on this day? Like, there's like a million and one questions. And I'm just like. Wait, how, I'm surprised they didn't know who Savage Prank Films Marty McFly was. Savage Prank? <laughs> Films. That's sure right. That Savage Prank. I thought, I, like, I thought your your legend had swept the Saskatchewan film. area. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, like what ended up happening is like I get through questioning, right? Like they, I was a budget, so they were just like, well, like we're just gonna take you to processing, right? So like he explained that first I had like eight charges, right? That they were very gonna charge me with, and then like I don't know, like I guess if I would have talked, of course I would have probably got more, but like. I don't know. You only got charged me. I think it was like definitely with mischief and then mischief with or in a religious place. Right. Okay. There's like three other things that they wanted to. But like, I don't know. A loot axe in front of underage children. No. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like they even knew like there was no children in the church at that time. So like that was like one of the main things that they were like contemplating. Like, they be sure of that. I mean, I'm surprised they could be certain of that. But continue. But OK, uh, like. Because there's a live, right? And that's another thing. I didn't realize, like, where I was, like, on the backside, they have a live fucking thing podcasting their own live shit, right? So it's like, they've seen everything. But anyways, like, besides the point, I get through processing, like, what ends up happening is, like, he tells me my charges. Like, I call my lawyer. He kind of just deals with the police. He's like, don't sign anything Um, that, like... Marty's legal Sir, force was formidable, too. Not, I bet. It's yeah, the dream like, team of Canada, dude. He <laughs> had so many top-notch suits. Well, who did you, where did you find his lawyer? I'm Lawyers, Google. Leo. I'm yeah. Google, like, <laughs> so, like, Google. So, I pretty much just typed in, I forget, like... Yeah, I could pay you in maple syrup and hockey pucks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it your, Who Was it your life savings that you used to, like, What? who paid for the lawyer? He wasn't in debt, Leo. There's no oh, way he could have afforded <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you know, dude. Like, who paid for the lawyer? <laughs> It was like eight grand almost. It was like 7,000 oh. something, right? Yeah, for all the lawyer fees and shit. And like, trust me, like I only had like, I think it was like a thousand or two. So I got to go out with mom and my fucking grandma. So and like, Canadian they, money is even more, right? Yeah. Canadian money, that'd be like 10 grand it's US. 10 grand, dude. 10 grand US, but your mom had to, had to pick up the, the slack? Yeah, pretty much, bro. Otherwise, okay. fuck, yeah. So like, yeah. anyways, but like the weird thing is like, after I like, I assigned, like, I didn't know shit. So I just signed the fucking papers that they gave me. So obviously I got charged for two of them. And she's like, okay, we're taking your processing. And like, it, it was kind of weird. Cause like, it was like a middle aged guy who kind of just didn't like my fingerprints and stuff. And I was just talking with them and like, he knew why I was there. And he's just like, I, like, I hope you make better life choices. And like, this is like definitely going to change your life and impact your life a bunch. And he was pretty chilling and shit. And like, he's like, how much do you weigh? And I was like, I don't fucking know. Like, What's your height? Like, I don't know. I was like, so they're measuring tape. Like, let's just do this shit. Anyways, we do all that fun stuff. And like, it was weird because like, after leaving this thing, like there's like a murder room. There's like a, a fucking, like there's these weird rooms being labeled. And there's obviously like people with like in other investigations. Right. So like, I'm walking by like this uh, what if they send him to the chomo what if they send him to the chomo holding cell I mean, because that is of the kind of he deserved to be there that would be <laughs> marty mcfly you wouldn't be alive today if they put you in the chomo cell mm -hmm. you would have gotten your head kicked in well it's a funny story but like I'll, I'll be truthful because like even the cop was like i don't know what to do with you because like we can either put you in like a two-person holding cell or a single one. i was like you do you i was like i don't i don't have an option why do i get an option but what ended up happening is like I walk past this murder investigation pretty much. And like, there's this guy staring at me, obviously fucking involved in it. And like, I look at the cop that's escorting me and I was just like, well, fuck, like, this is just fucking weird. And like, fucking like, I don't want to hear any of this shit. So I'm just like trying to keep walking. And like, it was actually key. One point that I missed out during the invest or, like uh, interrogation, I have to piss so fucking bad. So I'm like walking around and I'm like, he's like, don't leave the room. You're under arrest. Like you can't leave. He's like, I'll be right back. So he like leaves the fucking room and like, you guys know me, like, I don't fucking know, like, yeah, I was just testing the buttons, I literally, like, walk around, I have to piss, man, I literally open the fucking door, the door opens, and I was like, we out this bitch, yeah, and then you take two steps, I look left, and, like, the officer's, like, running towards me, he's like, I thought I told you you couldn't leave, I was like, I have to piss, man, and like, what the fuck's the fucking washroom, he's like, stay the fuck in there, and he, like, locks it, I'm like, fuck, yeah. but anyways, okay, like, we get through that, like, <laughs> pass the word of investigation, I'm just like, fuck, thank like, you, Marty, like, thank you for sharing that part. Yeah, I was pretty fucking hilarious, man. Um, I walked by and like I keep walking and like 
he's like, there's a single cell or there's a si-. like. I was like, I don't care, man. Like you pick. So he's like, I'll put you in the single cell, but like that was only for a few hours, and like it was okay. It was like two, three hours in there, and the cop comes up and he's like, Martin, he's like, we got more paperwork for you to fill out. He's like, just come outside. He's like, I'm gonna just place you under handcuffs, right? So I come out there and like we go to this room, fill out a bunch more papers. He's like, your lawyer will be like in contact with you, and we've been in contact with him and. Um, he's like, but we're going to put you back in the cell. So like, I actually have to be there for like, it was like nine hours. Like I remember really like going there at like 11, 12 and then going out at like nine, eight. I don't even remember. It was like, fucked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was still <laughs> the same day, but like, fuck, like the most serious experience I've had, man, it was like after moving into a second person cell, this guy was just fucking eyeing me down. And I'm just like, well, like fuck, I don't know what to do. I'm just there, and I don't. I'm like, you do you, man. If you try anything, I'm just obviously gonna fucking try my best to fucking do something. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it wouldn't have been much. <laughs> now, look, I we've had our own battles with John Anthony Lifestyle, by the way, John Zerk. I've seen that your guys. Of, have you seen? He he offered oh us a hundred thousand to to like have a game off. Like where we go and see who gets more. Did pussy. he offer us a hundred k? I mean, he wanted to put up. Yeah, he wanted us to put up a hundred k, dude. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! That's bullying. Have you seen his clips? They were on viciously bad, dude. There, dude. There's levels of. I love cringe. Mm. I love cringe. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it. You I was like actually cringe. gonna watch his. <laughs> Very. I think. They're did hilarious. you see the one where he said five points? Mm-hmm. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> and who? How come the whole Red Pill community hates him so much? Does he just attack everyone? I think he, he attacks does. everyone. I he thought did. it was hilarious. I think they I all actually, owe him money. I think that's why they all hate him, man. <laughs> Dude, uh, we had a guy who owed him, uh, who gave him like four grand on our pod. This guy, uh, King Croc, yeah, he gave him four grand, for and he what? was in for uh, you know personal coaching, man. For, well, your, like pe- people actually pay him. Yeah, that's a how lot. He makes I think he makes money. good money, dude. He's in Brazil, dude. You know, chilling. But yeah, I mean, in the pickup community, I think are you going to be selling your own kind of ideas and stuff? You, you I already do have a course. Do. That's the only way I make money. Hell yeah. So that already came out and it's crazy to me because when I watch that guy's pickup, I don't know if I want to like attack him on your platform, but <laughs> he's already attacked us. He attacked okay, us. So I'll just say bad, it. Yeah. All right. I already know that he's he's broke. He doesn't make money. I know a lot about my enemies, right? Mm-hmm. Or enemy. You gotta be, yeah. You gotta. He's a fraud. Like 100% fraud. Like he doesn't know what he's doing with women at all. Well, let's let Fez be the judge of that. Can you pull up some infield footage of John Anthony, Austin? Did you see the one where he's drunk and he's like, can't get up? Dude, I, we watched last time we watched one where it was like a festival or something. And he was getting like a lot of girls numbers, like trying to. Leo, I say you because me, I'm not a good looking enough guy to overcome some butterflies. Maybe if I go out head to head with John Anthony on the wrong day, mm-hmm. there's a chance just the dice doesn't roll my way and I lose an unlikely chance. Let's be honest. Unlikely. But you, that's a hundred grand in your bank account. Pretty much guaranteed. Unless what John said. Is uh, I think both of you would destroy him, especially if you did a follow up <laughs> where it, can you meet the girl after you mm-hmm. get the number? Yes. That follow up. He would never do that part because I he's never once ever proven that he gets women i think he, get- he goes for drunk people gets them so uncomfortable that they just take just take the number and fuck off mm. that's what they do he's a fucking amateur and and he's all angry that i got rich off my dating course my dating course talks about psychosexual theory of sigmund freud wow nice. his his dating program is literally i like your blouse like he's like you gotta be nice to the girl you like that's what he teaches it's now, you, your infield his infield is just a selfie with a hot ass chick on twitter and it's just like they're already going to be hooking up more than likely well, well let's try this let's run some infield footage from both men by fez and i want to see which one <laughs> fez graphic because honestly Honestly, Fez right here, mm-hmm. he is the perfect unswayed candidate for a pickup course. This is true. He looks like the type of guy who would buy John's course. John Anthony's <laughs> course. <laughs> John, <laughs> he would get duped. Dude, John Anthony, that the 2K. 2K right there. I see a big two above and his. It's perfect, too, because Fez here, he subsists off government assistance. Yeah. So he doesn't have an emotional connection to the money. And therefore, it's nothing for him to blow 2K on a course. See, the funny guys get all the girls. That guy wouldn't hang. That guy is cringe as hell. Humor is good. Man. You know, I'm I, so glad you brought him up, though. I, I know You know, and I kind of got John Anthony's back. I like that he attacked us viciously with two videos. Yeah. It's something about that is endearing. Somebody, like, he just doesn't give a shit. No, no, he doesn't give a fuck. Have you seen his conversion rate? 
Like when he attacks you guys, he's supposed to take your fans. Mm. Literally, they just shit on him. In the <laughs> fucking comments, they just shit on him. The comments were really entertaining. Well, you know, again, we're right now, we're going to pull up some infield footage from John Anthony, and our very own Fez is going to give us his first impression. This is we'll the see. pickup fucking podcast today, dude. We're going we're gonna to get somewhere with this. Let's do it, boys. All right, this is John Anthony Lifestyle. And he looks like a pug, which is so funny. He looks like a bulldog. So I guess if he gets one number, it's equal to a thousand of yours. He he's go. doing it with a dog face. <laughs> <laughs> ugliest motherfucker on earth. <laughs> his parents Here we go. He's plugging the social media. He's got some nice graphics to open his infield video. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. up. And today we're going to cover the topic of taking a go home in the first two hours of the night. Okay? Oh, now, we have other coaches out there. R.C. Julian, Valentino Cohen, Alex RSD, who later became Alex Social and the Four Week Natural. Let's say the first half of the night doesn't Look count, how nervous he is. Just you can't look at the gulp in the, the night, So don't bother trying. <laughs> He's nervous and there's no I woman in the room. I pull the lines. Is he in the, the basement of a government He's building? Go home. <laughs> I pull a girl in the He looks like a, he used to be a woman in transition. He's got soft features. Okay. I didn't think it was going to be this much of a roast, but you know, it's pretty fun, dude. Speaking about with. He looked, you know what he reminds me of? He's like the school sh- He know, goes, okay. fuck it, I'll take the <laughs> abuse. I'm not going to do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the he good school. He never popped. He never He's cracked. Yeah. Ineffective school shooter. Yeah. He didn't quite crack. I don't know, I don't know if I could take his commentary on his infield. I feel oh like we have God. to get uncommented on infield footage from John Anthony. Right, give me two seconds. He's got a talking head box you, pulled up. You got it. Just search up John Anthony cringe and then watch uh, the one where he... Uh, <laughs> there's so much shit that pops up. Quick so he's he, they, one of my fans jumped in a call and called him a red pill reject. <laughs> he got so <laughs> humiliated. That is so funny. I can't because nobody knows who this guy is. So when you guys brought him up, I'm like, yo, sure. this is niche of the question. niche. We, we think it's just funny, right? I mean, his yeah. his existence is. It's, oh, it's, this guy gets me a shit ton of views, but my team says he's gonna jump off a building. Don't make fun of him. Oh shit! So I keep thinking he's one of those guys. You know, I want... and he fucks trans. Oh, well, good shit. for him. Good for him. It's he's, fashionable he's, he's, to do they're so. They're probably these hot because he was in Brazil, so they're probably the hottest trans there are. We're having trouble finding some infield footage. They're and all like his own breakdown of his own game. Yeah, that's smart. He's 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 honestly no improved. no. Just here, here, search up John Anthony Cringe, and look at the first guy who's critiquing him. Okay, he he, he goes yeah the first guy. Pick up this is his infield getting shit on by this kid, but it has all the footage that he's like trying to hide from the world. <laughs> I broke down this breakdown. Let's do it. Not a collab. Don't say collab. Okay, here we go. <laughs> he, he likes to bury collab, these videos. <laughs> so out of all of his failure, he chose this video to I upload. Just this bubble. I'm treating it, her like she's an old friend. Wait, go like, way to the beginning. Fuck buddy over. That's a good start. Right. We don't have Oh, a, no, no. Go, go a quarter in. in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You're right there. All right, Blue eyes, so I just want to say hi. Fez, pay attention. No, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I need to go. You're like hiding from the police, you're like... Okay, well I actually did just jump a turnstile. All right, so she's like... Maybe don't, already, maybe don't mention the like police right off the bat, but... Okay, <laughs> you're hiding from the police, haha. Ha. Okay, and she said, oh, I did just jump a turnstile. Okay, in the, in the New York City subway station, they have turnstiles she didn't have. The fair apparently and jump. Okay, yeah, we got, we I'll, got it. Okay. I like how he just literally breaks down the exchange. Look how nervous and rattled he is. That's fucking awesome. Ten points. I, okay, it wasn't my. Ten points. <laughs> like he chooses to put this video out there again. Not much has happened yet. Ten points to Griffin. You should buy his course. <laughs> this is already sold, dog. He's sold already. All the money I can pay for. It. Saying the thing didn't work. She wanted to pay, but she just jumped it. Because the machine wasn't working. But it was working. Wait, wait. Thank you for that. Wait, 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 press pause real quick. This is like, hey, Leo, how was your weekend? It's good, man. So what happened right there was <laughs> I asked Leo how his weekend was, which the weekend is Saturday and Sunday. He said it was good, which means he had a good time. Sometimes you could play Frisbee on the weekend. Sometimes you can. <laughs> but you could also, John, you could also go to the beach. It's, a, it's for his retard fans. That's why he's doing it. Well, no, I think it's okay to stop and clarify everything dude, every King now and then. Rock, it's okay that he walked. I think so I'm standing on cobblestone. <laughs> dude, dude. And cobblestone is different from any other levels of surface. Yeah, there could be concrete. Anything. There's a rock in my shoe here. That could be very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, continue. Uh, Did you get a running start? I'm a little bit drunk. I am too. <laughs> and she's like, I'm <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I can't do this, bro. Fuck. No. Hey, I love John Anthony. Dude, he's the man, dude. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we gotta keep watching. We gotta keep I watching. I wanna hire him. And I'm like, I am too. I used to drink when I would do day game as well. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, implementing physicality. We're third. What the? He just met this woman and asked for the where's my hug? You, you're a pickup artist and you're doing the where's my hug routine? The fuck? Okay, wait, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You ever pull down one of the girl? Hey, let me tell you something real fast. Just fucking bear hug him. I have drank like six drinks so far. Okay. I was just at like a social gathering. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna be like really good friends. Okay. All right, now I'm setting frames, okay? We're gonna be really pause, good friends. Pause, pause. Fuck his fucking lie, this ugly dog looking human. Actually, the most disgust. That's actually a woman that transitioned to a man. Look how soft the features are. Stop. And look at Leo. Dude, look at the beard. It, That's like how women grow hair. The well, peach fuzz. Disgusting. It, look at his fucking. Oh. He's a 48% body fat. Just to oh, And he takes steroids. Any potential legal responsibility <laughs> on our part, I'm going to say that John Anthony is all man. Uh, I'll take. <laughs> I respect Come your to my channel if you think he's mentally ill. Uh, uh, come sue me. <laughs> but now, check it out. What I was going to say is he's trying to say, oh, I'm implementing frame and stuff. Let's give real value and real good advice. The number one thing you should monitor when talking to your crush or a girl you want is talking slower. Mm -hmm. When you're nervous, Take you talk time. faster yeah. and she picks up on that and then she makes it extra embarrassing for yeah. you. Look, how, he's like speed running the cringe. Mm -hmm. And this is like, to me, it's so weird that when he's giving us advice, he won't mention well what i did wrong was i'm t i'm talking too fast and blah 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 he he won't give them the advice he's talking about i'm holding frame and he's trying to show you the good stuff he's right doing. if it if it worked out in the end if he did if he did have an honest approach that would still be really interesting and, and beneficial for for people even you know if it, if it worked out in the end if he does get the girl's number or, or but I, or I always say leo like <clears throat> there's no point in getting numbers and accumulating trauma with women because it makes you a worse player over time. Same with, there's no point in fucking a lot of women. Because then what's really happening is, you, let's say when I was like a bodybuilder, I didn't have my own place. Mm -hmm. So I'd fuck a lot of women, but I wouldn't be able to sustain them because I was broke. Me too. That and so, me. so what happens yeah. when you can't sustain a woman? You lose them to a dude who can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you actually take six months to heal from that trauma because that was your crush. That you only have one crush. Binge eating. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, Dark. there's no point in being a player if you can't sustain the women because you're becoming a worse player over time and there's more like inhibition, right? Dude, guys, so, he's going to subscribe to John Anthony Live. He's you already sold him the course. I'm gonna subscribe. To he's gonna guy. subscribe to it. Well, we, let, let the video play. We gotta watch that video. Oh, we, there's more to watch. Yeah. I really want to see cringe. you do Hapkido. We're coming back to that, but let's let's watch some more John Anthony. Because it was really interesting. I can't believe he attacked you guys. Why? Really Why you guys? Oh, I don't know. I you guys are not like red pill market, are you? Not really. No, I wouldn't say. Why did he come after us? Yeah, isn't he? Doesn't he go after like dating coaches? Well, it was because our buddy yeah. like owed him money, and we were kind of like talking about it. Like, yo, <laughs> yeah. why do you owe this guy money? <laughs> he owes him rent. He bought him a lot of. He bought a lot of his courses, man. I heard his courses. The pages don't even load. Someone really? did a review. It's like bug. Well, I can tell you, our, our friend used to have this move that he learned from John Anthony, which was uh, he would go up to girls and say, "Can I meet you real quick?" And then try to shake their hand and get the conversation going. What do you think then, about that, Jordan? I, I, don't buy my course. <laughs> <laughs> if you like that move, don't buy your course. Uh, all right, let's, let's play, dude. Yeah. No, a little bit of a reverse for Can I like, propose something like totally fucking crazy? Okay. Let's met this girl, dude. This fucking. Can I tell you something fucking crazy right now? Let me get in there. Give him a little look at that ear. I don't this hate him touching her a little bit. I don't hate that. Persuasion, which is the follow-up book to influence. I bet by you Robert. Do that, then. Get uh, can you, <laughs> you see what I was doing I, I, there was I was mind raping her. <laughs> I was manipulating her. Is what pause. I was doing. Now she See, I've, I've never taught this for five years full time as a bouncer. I said, you never break touch beer unless her eyes closed laughing. Ha, ha, ha. That's when I break touch beer only Ooh. on a laugh. I've never broken touch beer doing that. And <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. It's like, why would you escalate laugh. the position? What? She's got a nice set of cans, John, and you want to squeeze. I mean, breaking <laughs> the law is bad. <laughs> breaking the law is bad. That's true. I, That's have, true. I, have, <laughs> I have looked at tits and I've been like this. And then I've been like, can I? Can I? And then they go fine, and then I grab them. Super creepy. I don't teach this. No, but, but sometimes but it's happened. Sometimes that's a black belt level move. We no, all, that's a hoe. If she's we a all hoe. Does, can we all agree that every now and then we've been creepy? I mean, yeah. I've been. Oh, by the way, being creepy is fucking awesome. If it, if it works, if you're out, getting away with it, it's fucking awesome. If it yeah. works out, I mean, <laughs> fucking being creepy is like. I mean, it's like anything. When you play baseball, sometimes you foul out. So for starters. 
I'm gonna take like all of it down. You can pick yeah. Anytime. Yeah, you gotta take it down. You write trans right on the side. No, trans right. Dude. <laughs> Stop. So <laughs> he had trans rights on the side. Stop, here's, dude. Here's, Danny, let's say he was in like the Spartans, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like maybe the Roman Empire. What would they have used Long Neck as, you know, to, to maybe for the other, to, to defeat the other side? What would they have tasked him as? Um, they would have tasked him as the thing that went into the gorge when it was born. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. That is uh, just, uh, when, when, <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Like, uh, I, I, I was trying to set you, uh, set him up for a compliment. That's so fucked up. I was just trying to set him up for a compliment, and you just hit him with that, dude? Yeah, I'm fucked up. I mean, well, like, I'm sorry. I just saw the movie. All I know is the movie. And when, uh, <laughs> Dude, you might, have to, like, you might have to swim now, is, bro. You might have to go over there. What and is give wrong right with you, dude? You can't just be. <laughs> uh, well, like, you know I love you. I'm no, like, I know. I just if you're not, you know how they did it, in Sparta. If you weren't, if you didn't look like a Leo, they mm -hmm. fucking threw you into a ravine, dude. You know how that? You guys yeah. saw the movie, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I would have got dude. thrown in a ravine. Look, at, I, I'm way too skinny for Sparta. They would have killed me too, Long Neck. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> when, I came, when, when I came in here, I thought, I thought it was... Oh, sorry, uh, we might have to clip that, dude. <laughs> what do you mean, you're, 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 you're fucking <laughs> awful, dude. Hey, just, somebody's got to put the little clip of, like, when the guy's looking at the baby and, and there's a bunch of skulls in the re... Uh, if he puts that clip in, it's probably the funniest. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, but it's okay. fucked up at the same time. When I came in here, I thought he was mud flap, dog. <laughs> I'm not even... You thought he was that. mud flap? Yeah. You thought he was <laughs> Bailey, when you pulled up, I kind of thought you were... You guys have you have long hair now. Well, yeah, but I mean, he's. Uh, I think you out pull like, Mudflap by, by tenfold. Yeah, you out pull him at any. I don't look. I got nothing against Mudflap. He's, he's a great cool. guy. Look. Yeah, he's a great guy. He, he has lost weight. Yeah, though. he's lost weight. Exactly. Lost weight. That's what I was gonna say. He's still bigger than you. A lot bigger. Yeah. But I mean, he's still he's on the right track. That's all that matters, bro. Like, what do you weigh in right now? Probably three hundred. Nice. That's not bad. Yeah, I was like three thirty. You're six six. Yeah. You're like seventeen, Daddy Longnecks, dude. Wait, how tall are you? I'm six six. I'm six five. Hell yeah, man. You want to stand up? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe, but drop dead, Ned. Can you, it's long, shit, you might dude. mic it up, drop now dead. I know you get, now I know <laughs> for sure jet, you get dude. pussy. I didn't it's, know you were that tall, bro. It's <laughs> jet. Drop dead, Jed. I like it. It's right. drop dead, Jed, not drop dead, Ned. It's a classified head ass. Yeah. Is that, are, are you part of the, the long neck crew just because of your voice? <laughs> um, No, what? I'm actually like, really? The way I see it is I'm the stretched out version of him. I love Did he stand that, up dude. for me? I didn't notice how tall He's you were. He's tall as fuck. If you dude. wouldn't mind standing up. You're with a hard on or without? Like, no homo. If you want to get your dick hard, <laughs> I'll look at it. I don't want it hard. There's he would like love to see your penis. Guys. Jed, he would love to see your penis. Yeah, you're... Damn, dude. You're fucking... How... Stand up. Yeah, Everybody said, you two long neck. Stand up. There was no liquid He's tall. I'm not sure. I'm closer. Any. You're definitely... You're definitely taller than me, but you're not freakishly tall. 6'5 is pretty... That's 99th percentile by a lot, dude. Yeah, he's... That's... A, you guys aren't lying. He's 6'5 and you're 6'6. Six, six. Dude, you're fucking G, man. I'm gonna fucking lie. I look like your skeleton. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do. So, long neck brings the, what we need to the pod. Long neck, you are a star. You know that, right? You are a huge star. Yeah. And I would be at the bottom of that ravine with you in Sparta. <laughs> as would Austin. As would Dino. I don't know why I pointed at him wrong. As would Bailey. Leo, you're the only guy here who would survive in Sparta. Unless they had steroids. Then maybe I'd have a shot. Maybe fed. Fed might have a chance. Yeah, I would yeah. actually be. I think I'd be a formidable warrior. They would probably make you do some push ups and lose some weight. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, honestly, I was like really athletic. Like, and in, like especially even when I was three thirty, bro, I was in shape. They like, say that yeah, the uh, the the shield and big swords was often about how big you were because obviously, like sh pushing a guy with a shield. He's got the weight can help you if you're a big guy, but then obviously having stamina and then swinging it. The swords were so big they could just like slice a leg off, so they were huge, and they were also obviously there wouldn't big. have been enough food for me to get this big back then. Yeah, you wouldn't have been that big. No, and neither would you. They, you would have been considered fat probably back <laughs> then. Yeah, no, I would have. I would have been. You know, twenty pounds. Uh, if I lose twenty pounds. Well, I'm not saying you're fat world, now, yeah. but I'm saying, you know, if you were back then, they would probably be like, God damn, yeah. stop fucking eating, you lard ass. And it's true. back then, there was a higher premium on circumcision, so maybe they would have cut that disgusting skin off. Okay, face. dude, no one was circumcised back then. Dude, it's funny how, like, when, when the Old Testament came out, everybody was getting circumcised, dude. It says you bad. go to hell. Yeah, it was Do you feel like, bad when we're at shows? And there's some cute girls there, and they're, you know, giving us the eye, and you yeah. go on stage, and you do fucking two and a half minutes 
about how disgusting my penis is. Do you feel bad? (laughs) Do you feel bad when you go to sleep? I did this once. There were these hot Brazilian girls that showed up. And I see Leo flirting with them as they come they in. They were flirting with me. Leo's well. the host. Leo's the guy who's up there having a good time, introduced. It's a very attractive role to women, what Leo does. Because mm-hmm. Leo's not the guy up there telling fart jokes. Leo's the host. He's suave. He brings yeah. on the comics. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I get up there. I'm telling some jokes. When I'm probably bombing. So I just go into plan B, which is I single the two Brazilian girls out in the audience. And I just go, hey, um, you know that big Italian guy who was hitting on you by the bar earlier? Yeah, dude. His name's Leo. Italian. Uncircumcised. Yeah, unbelievable. And then I do a lot. Probably, you're right. Two and, two and, and a half, half minutes, minutes on how cheesy and smelly his dick it's, is. He yeah. said you could said you hey, could smell my from dick from two miles. I say we move on to current events, and yeah. I say you give us a fezzy monologue. Oh my god, on Israel versus Palestine, dude. Oh, uh, so the worst now with Iran? What? Excuse me. I, I, uh, I thought it was Iran. Somebody told me it was Iran. This is not going to go well. Iran, Iran oh, funds wait, the wait, terrorist Wait, 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 Austin. Somebody told you that, that Iran was one of the principal combatants in this conflict? Was it, it Dino? Was, uh, no, it was not Dino. <laughs> Outside source. Okay, continue. continue. They fund him, Austin. Whatever, I, I get it, Austin, but mm. we're trying to take this at a very simple level right now. Tell us what you heard from this person. Well, well... All I know is a war between Israel and Palestine, correct? Okay, there we go. That was good. So, I'm glad you know that. I know a lot of people die in the conflict, especially from both sides because they've been bombarding each other. But like, I actually oh, you're one of those equivocators, are you? <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Watch out. But I don't know that main reason why. Maybe because of the terrain, because that one con- country is bigger than the other. Is that why? So you think the biggest landmass... In a geopolitical conflict, that side typically prevails. Yeah. So, if, like, if Antarctica went to war with us, Antarctica would prevail. I don't think so. That their military power is minimal. Well, we're bigger than Antarctica. Yeah. Are we? The United States is bigger than Antarctica. Antarctica is like not that big. I don't think. Pull it up. It just looks big on maps. There's a Antarctica. lot of people. There's a lot of people trying to flex intellectually right now with. You know, Iran actually funds Hamas or uh, Leo trying to actually sincerely do math. Mm. But if I fuck up right here, I can't talk any shit. So it's 5.275 million miles squared. And America is north. Oh, wow. Antarctica's bigger. Bam. Suck it. Suck it, Austin. And that means. Damn. Okay, you're right. If Antarctica. Let's let's think about this, Fez. Do you think we would be doomed if Antarctica invaded? No. Why don't you think we'd be doomed? Because our military power is the greatest. But dude, have you seen their penguins? They march in perfect order. They got like orcas too. They got like a bunch of like mammals that we don't really know how to like. Yeah, they're going to ride in like they were horses. (laughs) Have you seen blackfish, dude? This isn't a joking matter. Those things will fuck you up. Blackfish. This fish dismembered a woman. He ripped her head off. She was a trainer. And she looked at him sideways one time, and he took her out. You don't think orcas could you, do that? Are you laughing? Are you laughing <laughs> you think at orcas, the demise of this trainer? I don't you think, think orcas could take real. out a couple oh, Navy orca. ships? That's yeah, an orcas could take out a Navy yes. ship. Yes, yes, they can. What did you think we were talking about? A, a fish from the inner city? Yes. <laughs> Yo, what up, man? This fish food is bullshit and shit, dog. I'm a black fish, motherfucker. Man, <laughs> man this fucking fishbowl cramping my style. <laughs> A steppa need to apply. A steppa is my new substitution for it's, the N-word. It's I can nice. say. Yeah, you can say steppa. I can say steppa. You can say steppa. So yeah. listen, Fez. Israel and Palestine. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty much what I know. I don't know much about what's going on with the conflict between the two countries. Can you actually How do you feel something? about... You need to make a choice right now. Because, Leo, mm-hmm. we're going to make him endorse a side on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Right First, now. we got to... I mean, I'm going to mention a couple of things that you know, uh, Hamas did. And then you, you know, you can let me know what you think about that. You like that, Austin? Do you like that if we give him the facts right now and he has to make an informed decision right. and then publicly share it on the podcast? Yeah. I don't think there's anything that could possibly go wrong. All right. I don't think so either. <laughs> so the, the robotic velociraptors that the, that Hamas, um, 
you know, kind of let jump over the wall. Have you heard about these, Fez? Yeah. I think that's bullshit, but go on. What do you mean that's bullshit? What do you mean? They were AI velociraptors that, that were purchased by Iran, I believe, and given to Hamas as a gift, and they set them loose. What do you think a drone is, dude? A drone is a robot sent to do fighting that it's too dangerous yeah, yeah, for humans. Yeah. Right. And velociraptors are the most aerodynamic and fierce so wait, of all about, animals. So and we mimicked them with machinery. So right. Hold on, hold on. Hamas did. I'm not Hamas. a member of Hamas. Drones? Yeah. Not actual yeah. velociraptors? I don't know. Velociraptors. You said mechanical. They're mechanical uh, velociraptor drones. Like drones. I, I mean, I believe that. a drone company makes them. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. What do you think about that? Boeing makes them, dude? Oh, well, yeah, fun. Boeing does. Yeah, Damn, Boeing. We, we keep, yeah, I know. We keep outing United States' involvement in the attack. But it, it was Boeing that made the velociraptors. Is, is it okay we talk about this subject here? It's really touchy, but I would say not only is is it okay, it is our moral duty to talk about okay. it and post about it. We have right. to talk about it. All right, no so, problem. So the velociraptors, they hit Palis, or they hit Israel. They, mm-hmm. they blew up the border fence in multiple locations. There were actually robotic pterodactyls that flew in from the sky, and they landed as well. This thing was very well coordinated. Yeah. So now the model is called pterodactyl instead of... Yeah, I mean, it's a drone. But then when they got there, they started going door-to-door to bakeries. They were targeting bakeries. Yeah. <laughs> they would First, they would just decimate the croissants. That was the first thing that they would do. And, and croissants are a huge kind of like, they stimulate the economy over there. So it was kind of the like- Jews an, love them, dude. Yeah, it was like an economic kind of uh, attack. It was, it was really something, it would be like taking our oil, I don't know, it would be like taking the, uh, the Tesla from the United States. Okay. It would be. All it would the be. taking, all the Tesla factories. The richest man there yeah. in Israel yeah. is a baker. Yeah, he is. And he's, he's perfected the- you know, the technique or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's like it's like a formula to make the crunchiest yet most perfectly fluffy croissant, you know, in, in all the land. And it's 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 something that just it, it it's one of those things that just stimulates the economy over there and it really helps people. Yeah. And they uh, they were chomping away at the croissants. Yeah, it's it's important. I just want to say right now though that mm. I just now noticed about an hour into the podcast that Dino wasn't here. Yeah. Speaking of underemployment, you know your job is insignificant when it takes an hour <laughs> for somebody to notice you're not here. <laughs> but the thing is though, I know I'm still going to get a sheepish Venmo request from Dino because you love me. Just hoping, yeah. like, just, he's just going to be hoping that I don't really read it or I didn't remember yeah. that he was not he's here. Not here, and I just approve it. <laughs> Guarantee that's going to happen. That Dino, when he is absent from his job, will still send us Venmo requests. It's, it's, it's insane. It happens. It yeah. absolutely happens. So, Fez, who do you think? I, I think, because Ben Shapiro has been making a big stink about this, I think if some mechanical velociraptors want to raid a bakery, it's between Israel and Palestine, mm-hmm. dude. Uh, yeah, but the, the Israelis aren't all at fault, because then afterwards they sent in the, the laser owls. Fuck, dude, why did you have to? Don't that's bring gonna up scare the kid. laser owls, dude. Laser owls are just, I don't know, they, NATO and, like, the, the, what is the, what is it that, uh, what is that the Warsaw group? Pact, dude. There's the, the group. Warsaw Pact, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a group. What is there? They're against the war crimes. The owls are not really. They're against the Geneva Convention. Yes, dude. that's what it is. They're against the Geneva Convention. And the Jews. Everybody knows the Jews control the, the space owl lasers. Yeah, they control them. So the like, it was it was so fucked up, dude. Yeah, like dude. I mean. It, you might as well unleash mustard gas in a kindergarten when you're pulling out the fucking mechanical owls, dude. It's. The lasers are kind of just like, it, it's strange because the lasers don't do much. They kind of just like, they kind of eviscerate hair. That's what they do. So they were going around balding people all over the place. And airdropping gay porn into Muslim territory. <laughs> they were doing that. <laughs> I mean, that is a violation of Sharia law, dude, yeah, which dude. there is no more serious violation. So what you're going to have to do right now, mm-hmm. because the Jews control these owls, Fez, yeah. is... You're going to have to pull out your phone and you're going to have to compose a post yes. that I describe right now. Correct. Yeah. Uh, on Instagram. It's going to be this. It's going to be giving it a lot of thought and there is only one righteous conclusion a man can draw. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to post a Palestinian flag 
Palestine. I think shit. that it would be a good idea for you to post a Palestinian flag. Although, you know, me and Danny are going to stay away from either. I think it's a problem between both countries to handle what they got going are you, on. I think you're being a moral coward right now. I think yes, I am. Posting a Palestinian flag right now would be just a great move <laughs> for your career. <laughs> what career? <laughs> and the fucked up thing is, so as obviously we're joking, we're people, joking. But the the fucked up thing is, it probably is a good career move to like fucking post a Palestinian flag right now. Right, well, BLM is, yeah. I, it, it's almost. It's it's finally we've reached a position where you can be so far left that you're kicked out of the mainstream. Yeah, like the squad, Ilhan Omar and, and Ocasio Cortez are finally getting fucking heat from yeah. the Democrats yeah. for being like American hating fucking yeah. Marxists. But finally, you, you, you still might get a position at BLM yeah. siphoning hundreds of thousands of dollars away from guilty white people it's if you post a Palestinian flag. Just not any Jewish media companies. Nah, You're probably going to get blacklisted. Yeah. But you look, I, I think it's funny, but really posting the Palestinian flag for you would be just a just a doorway opens for you in BLM. And that's that's where you could get down and dirty with some embezzlement. And you yeah. could you could score one of those homes that the B, the BLM folks have yeah. in the hills. You Fez could have an infinity pool and all the dudes or women that yeah. you want. We're not we're still not certain about you, but that's okay. You know, your your timing's not great. You sort of caught the pendulum swinging back to the right. That's yeah. what's going on right now culturally, but yeah. it's going to come back, Fez. The pendulum's going to come back. And it's going to come back even further. Mm -hmm. Like pretty soon, white people will be enslaved yep. to anybody who has any sort of pigmentation. And pretty soon, if you don't make your kid trans, stormtroopers are going to come to your house and shoot you oh, in the face. Oh no! What are you saying, dude? You need to advocate for the far left cause, and you need to be where the puck is going to be. Yes, you need to be where the puck is going to be in like five more years. Correct. You know what I mean? Like, well, you know when uh, a man puts money into the stock market and mm -hmm. then comes back to it five, ten years later and he's rich? This could be you with the Palestinian flag on your Instagram. You're buying the fucking dip, Fez. You're buying the dip. You're, buy you're putting a giant sum of money into the market in 1930 right now. Mm. That's what you're doing by posting the, the Palestinian flag. Yeah. So... We're not going to do it. We're not yeah. going to do it. We yeah. don't. Uh, Leo and I, we're moral cowards. Yeah. And also, yeah. I'm we're, we have fear of success, well. dude. We have fear of success. So we can't. It's one of those things like I don't envision my, I don't want to be that powerful. You know what I mean? You want to be on the right side of history, Fez. Fez. No, thanks. <laughs> Fez, if there's anything we've learned, there's really no harm in being too far left. Like, if you're just like, oh, what, so Hamas is cutting off a couple baby heads. So what? A couple of women got raped. Colonization. Just keep saying colonization if anybody comes at you. I mean, this is what just BLM's colonization, doing. Just colonization, dude. That's what BLM's doing. We're just, decolonizing, dude. You got to decolonize, bro. BLM is doing that right now. You know, wow. they're, they're, they're on board with the decolonization. Yeah, decolonize. So just hit a little quick, hit a Palestinian, dude. Hit a Palestinian flag right now. Like, Danny's really trying to help you. If you post the flag and then next time you go to a job fair, say you're non-binary and we can land you a job... That's not cleaning hobo shit. Oh, we got oh you. Yes. <laughs> they, and then once you get the job, they will be so mortified of firing you, Fez, because a non-binary person who supports Palestine is going to sue them, yeah. is going to tweet about them. Yes. So you will basically be uh, fucking, you'll have that golden parachute, baby. Yeah. Or it won't even be a parachute. You'll be flying in the golden Learjet. That's right. Fez, I happen to know that the BLM Los Angeles chapter has a treasury position open right now. Treasury? And you're wow. great with numbers. You are. Yes, because it so happened that I was the next part on them. Yeah. Why yeah. is it that you are um, so... I think that's all in the past, right? Why, why? Yeah, it's all in the past. Why are you so hesitant to tell us exactly what happened during wall time? Did you get your ass beat really bad? Oh, they would just, like, tell you what to do. Like, oh, go stand over there. Like, if you want to do that right, we got to beat you up, like... Go, go stand over there, you know, get beat up right now. Like, I'd be like, let me just pull out my dick. Like, no, they'd be like, no, I can't pull out your dick right now. No, no. <laughs> you, didn't say dick? Yeah. you didn't say that. You didn't say, you didn't say that. Would have been a good move, probably. You were getting, so, yeah. Okay, so you don't, I, clear, it's kind of clear you don't want to talk about it, but I want to dig deeper because I do this for the fans and I need to hear about it. Yes. Tell us in detail what happened with Wall Time, like moment by moment. 
Just like in 30 seconds. So just they, moment by moment. First, they tell you to get over there. Who's they? they? Get, you know, the, the head the head guy of your race. He's like, go get in the shower. Get naked. Jesus. He's like, he's like I want you to take off your pants, go over there, and turn on the water so the guards can't hear you. Oh, and my God. He gets God. in there, and he gets naked, too. And he's like, what? Yeah, it's kind of weird. They beat each other up naked. I don't know why. It's... Boy, and the rat, shower's I think too. They, were, you, were you raped? That if that's considered rape, man. No, I mean he just took his dick out, but he didn't fuck so, you. No, he didn't fuck me. He's like, I'm gonna, you're gonna see what the real dick looks like, boy. Oh my god! He starts bro. punching. He's like, you fucking, you like that, bam. No way, you like that. Yeah, where, like was that. You you. where was he punching you? Where was he punching you? In back. the arm? Yeah, all over the place. You know, did he punch you in the face? Yeah, no, yeah. Well, yeah, no, and he didn't punch me in the face. Just on my body because he didn't want the guards to see. No, seriously, did he punch you, punch you the face or not? Uh, I think one time it got bad and he'd punch me in the face. Jesus so I was Christ. so like, just like, 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 like oh mad my about them God. making me strip naked every day and go to the shower and get beaten up, you know? This would happen every day? Yeah, because I'd always be like doing fuck shit. Not fuck shit, just like <laughs> not following their rules, like not doing their push-ups, sleeping in or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, they'd have rules and shit. Like, you gotta like program right now. That's insane. They thought like, that you were a program. lifer and they yeah. had a new guy for the Aryan race, obviously, or the Nazis. Yeah, they were Nazis. All right. So every day a man would expose himself to you in the shower and beat you the fuck up. Yeah. And there's some big ass dude too. <laughs> That's fucking terrible, yeah. man, dude. Yeah, I dude, this go is the Halloween episode, huh? Yeah. I mean, you said fuck the push-ups and shit, though, so I mean... Dude, why don't yeah. you want to just hit the push-ups, well, bro? I mean, eventually, they would be so, like, strict about it, and they'd be like... I would just w wake up my night screaming, like... Like, because there'd be all these, like... It'd be all racial, and wake, I woke up one night screaming the N-word, and he, like, he was like, you can't fucking do that here. You're going to waltz out tomorrow. Hard, boy. <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, my God. I'm like, shit. Like, I'm wall, wall time was... It was in the shower? Yeah, he's, every That's time, insane. go in the shower. Damn. Guards couldn't see over there, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up screaming the N-word too, Rat Yeah, I'm just so. like, it's like, fuck. Rat -tick. <laughs> you were getting your ass beat by an Aryan race fucking, like, jail, I don't know, like a like a lifer? Or was yeah, like, like, the guy was probably in there a long time, right? Yeah, he probably shot some people or did some, beat up some people hardcore. Jesus. You know? All right, so this guy was coming in. Taking his dick out. What does dick look like? I'm sorry, but this is for Danny that I'm asking. It was it was big. You know, it was dude, long, what too. What do you mean, dude? Girthy. Girthy and long. He had, he had long. a girthy and long. long. And just it, a huge and dick. And red. He had red, red pubes, too. So he was just like a big redhead. He was buff, a huge... Dude. dude, this is the scariest thing yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Dude, you're kind of a big guy, bro. Uh, he was I don't bigger. want to go to jail. He was bigger, bro. No, no, so a giant... Like, how big was he? Bigger than me? About a little taller than you. Just what? Ripped and tattoos everywhere. He'd always play cards all day. And like, and then he would come in and take his I got, huge dick out. Yeah, he beat me up so hard one your time. Ass I every switched day? units, and then like one time he went to the next unit. And like I, he he somehow it was like a month later. And we were both in the same unit again, and he saw me. He's like, "Give me that book, boy." Like what? And like I had to kick the book to him, and I, I got so sketched out, and I was like. I asked the guards if I could transfer, and they're like, "Okay." So this guy was this guy was horrifying you. So he was just I mean, like, he was he was, he was basically ruining he was ruining your life. Yeah, he hated me in there because I wouldn't didn't follow his orders, and I was like, like you know, because he's mad that you know what I did, and I'll just I'll call my girl and be like, like, and she was like, she she was like trying to get me back out. She's like, just he didn't understand the situation very much, so he was like, you know. What's he didn't like me, and like, he was mad that I was like bitching out. A big there. giant leprechaun. Should have ripped just, his nuts off. I should have grabbed his dick, you know. Yeah, just literally rip his nuts off and then run. I off. mean, I did. What did you ever try to fight back? Uh, yeah, the one, one time, and he had all this, the other dudes in there jump me, like eight, four, like four dudes, like like that, the, like what, like yeah, like uh. So he did was they like, break any bones? No, but I had a big bruise on my eye for like two weeks, and then I had to go like the because so I got switched into like the whole like solitary. I was by myself for like. 20 days and how like was this, that it was better than being in the like the cell with all you're the drug free at this point right whenever you when you're in that uh yeah i was by, by myself just chilling in the cell well you, know? you were off the drugs i mean what was that like dude did you kind of like it no not really it's was, it was kind of like like just boring all the time you know, i bet he cell. really wanted to take a dab take like 90 percent yeah, of the I was time like, Fuck, I, need, I need some drugs right now <laughs> especially after you get beat up you're like man i just want to dab right now yeah and, and i was like <laughs> Uh, you know, I was always thinking about alcohol too because alcohol got me in there. I was like, fuck. Being man. sober is kind of dope though. I mean, it was dope. You it's know? fun to just like be there and just, you know, like. But I was like nervous. What's going to happen? You can to me, see you know? how high you can get with your own body, you know, jerk yeah. off. It's not that bad. Yeah, Rad Dick, did you ever think that like 
that guy only did that stuff because he wanted what's best for you. Yeah, yeah man. Probably, like probably. maybe he was like, you need some order in your life. You need to wake up and do push-ups. You need to brush your teeth. You need to brush your teeth. You need right to get now. this Nazi insignia on like, your why arm. Is your, why is your fucking bed fucked up? You should be a Nazi. <laughs> 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 dude, it's crazy that that happened. This fucking leprechaun fuck, dude. You ever think about like getting him back? You know, I'm glad I'm out of there. That's what matters most. And hopefully yeah. if I... How long were you there? You know, I was there for like two months, three months, something like that. Jesus. That sucks. The it was a long time. Revenge. The rat tick was in there, and then I got out. And I was what like, would be your revenge, though? If you could get your revenge on this guy. You, what was this guy's in. name, by the way? I don't remember his name, dude. But, you know, there was a lot of crazy people in there like that. And Anybody he wasn't the only Big one. Red? You know? He wasn't the only one that would beat your ass? No, nah, I got... There was another... Uh, you know, I was, I was just kind of like... Like, not down to, like... Uh, Listen to the rules and shit. I think it was like, I think you were in a bad jail too. I think there's yeah. some that are like, it seems like they're all different because Definitely. everybody that I talk to has had a different experience in jail, completely different. So it's like, I mean, we thought King Croc was lying about sleeping in the showers in LA County. And boy, was he right. They, that kid literally like, we got that confirmed by multiple people and an article in the LA so Times. So gross. Yeah, it's so off. fucked up, bro. Lucky I've never been there, and you know. Yeah, let's let's all stay out of jail. Rattic's you know doing I mean? good now, so I don't have to go back to jail. Rattic's Rattic's jail doing for good. Any of that rape in the showers. <laughs> yeah, thank God, dude. You're not gonna go. You're not going <laughs> yeah. to jail, dude. Rattic's no. good. Yeah, yeah. This is Rattic's entrance, right? <coughs> yeah, this is his entrance. from the door. From the door, right? Yep. All right, cool. Watch this, Danny. It's fucking classic. Oh my God. Interesting. There's a lot of fit, young-looking dudes on here. This guy was real original huh? with Adam so 23 Adam, hat. That's I'm a not a joke he's heard before. Lena, yeah, I think. I hope you like rad because I came ready to fuck. Where the fuck <laughs> did you find this guy? <laughs> you know, I'm ready to fill you. I hope you, <laughs> hope you like cheese. That's my, that's my specialty. <laughs> they call me Ralph, Ralph because I have a small penis. <laughs> it's really gross. Confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Come on up here so we can get a good look at you. Right, let's I'm going to have to get one word out because I am just afraid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for this, <laughs> dude. You've done porn before, or would this be your first? Scene? Uh, you know, I have a lot of like porn in the books with rap <laughs> <laughs> Pam. But I'm unreleased on you for now, because I can't dude, f- you. <laughs> I'm ready to strip tease. Dude, he's good, dude. Baby, baby, dude, rap dick's good. He's dude. a star. Yeah, he is a, a star, dude. Let's see what the chemistry yeah. is like. Yeah, let's get a hug for sure. Is he grab her ass? Oh yeah, he grabs her fucking ass, dude. Oh. Yeah, fucked up, dude. The sexual assault on yeah, cam. She didn't mind. The, of course not. I'm sure. I'm obviously it wasn't really sexually assault. Sexual I assault. You like cheese? Because I came to fill you up. Wow. Well, I'm really looking forward to the cheese. Do you like cheese? I, I just call it. That's just. I, just, I shoot loads of it. I still have a bunch of jars of it at home as I sell it to. <laughs> Dude. You sell your. Yeah, I sell my. <laughs> He's not even doing a bed either. This is real. I know. It's so fucking yeah. disgusting. You should start charging more. That's a lot of work. Yeah, we know there's small vials of c- and I let it age for a little bit. Age rat cheese. It's my oh, thing. That's super hot. Yeah, okay. Very hot. I hope we pick him. Yeah, let's like do this. Thank you for coming. Oh. Yeah. You can go this way. I'm impressed. I'm not. <laughs> you know, erotic. Because it's porn star. That's how a porn star would do it. I'm a porn star. And they're all just like, oh, I'm sexy. It's like, nah, I'm a porn star. You're just f- some dude. I'm a porn star. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I came here to be naked to f- is Dude. it too early in the series to show him getting kicked off? I don't Has know. that happened yet? I think it's probably in another episode, right? Wow. I think they really made a mistake not just keeping Rat Dick on. Like, Rat Dick yeah. or Ralph needs to be... Oh, yeah. Like, better call Saul. We need a better call Rat Dick. I mean, look, if, if I was, like, on The Bachelor, if it was The Bachelorette, they would keep him around, and every, like, week on Reddit, all the women would be like, why is he still there? I don't <laughs> get it. It'd be because me, a producer, me and you, yes. are just like, sorry, we got to keep Brad Dick on another week. We have a bit for him next week, so we got to keep him on another week. Well, we need to take our own advice and not be so hasty to keep firing him because yeah. he provided us some gold. Yes. We provided us... I mean, it was just the rattiest of rat dick performances you could imagine. There was everything anybody could have wanted. Mushrooms, yeah. rat pussy Pam, mm-hmm. a filthy apartment, mm-hmm. him getting his ass kicked, mm-hmm. and him being terrified of the cops to the point where he just opened the door while the car was going like 10 miles per hour, got out, ran into a bush, 
and then had to get another ride home from Corona, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He freaked out. Uh, he, we lost our rat. He wouldn't yeah. get back in the car no. because we were fucking with him so oh, hard. Yeah, dude. No, he's. Uh, it was. It was perfect. I mean, you'll see the video. It's gonna be. It, we're glad to have him back, honestly. But um, he's I'm a sure real talent. Where he might wear out his welcome here soon but you know we'll we'll see what we can do we gotta we gotta find ways to kind of corral him corral that energy you know let's let's do this can we can we pull up oh <laughs> i love when you do this i love when you quiz our this awesome is a bad idea. i'm just curious like <laughs> what his iq is is solid he's obviously intelligent okay could you austin pull up a blank map of the world a blank map of the world you, can have, you just type in earth and then click the settings every or uh, none or clean Oh, that's cool. Google Earth. I like that you know that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, this I'm a, works I'm a too. Weird person. So there we go. Beautiful. Um, nice. Bam, Austin. Good work. So Big Che and Austin, can you put your cursor over a continent? And we're gonna ask Big Che which continent it is. So whichever one you choose, put the cursor over it. That one right in the center there. Do you know what that is, Big Che? What is it? Can yeah. you tell us what that is without anybody saying anything? Nope. What continent is that, Big J? The one right in the center, right move in the middle your mouse. of the map. Move your mouse a little bit, Austin. Circle it. That I don't one. think, I don't think that? that's the problem. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it you're was being the problem. very generous. It like was the problem. He couldn't see the mouse, you asshole. Um, yeah, right. No, don't move the whole thing. Just just put it that, right that one. See that? What is that continent right there, What Big would J? you say that is? It's a mountain. It's a mountain. I, you know, that might I be, like dude, that you're answer. higher than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I no, that's an it. awesome answer. Why don't we try the uh, the very famous continent? You know, wait, 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 wait. So let's let's play with that a little bit. It's a mountain, Doug. What do so, you mean? So so that is such a big mountain, Big J, that it's Jeez. roughly the size of our country. It's much larger, actually, than the literally, size of literally our country. The biggest mountain. It's it, it is the biggest mountain in the world. There's two yeah. continents combined that are roughly as big, but they are two continents. Oh, actually, right. Okay, Big Shay. Yeah. This one right here, Austin. Put the, put your cursor on this one. Sorry if you can't see me. This yeah. Right what is that's a what, that's a far away land. Is, I wonder what that is. What continent is this? This one right here. Very <laughs> very communist country. What or would you continent. say the continent that this one? What is that? Continent? The continent or the country, whichever one you want to answer. Country. All right. Uh, okay. What, uh, which, which, which country, country is, is it? Uh, probably. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You like this? Uh, you like this? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know which one the big one was in the middle either. He didn't know this content, but this one, I mean, it's okay. This is, this is, gr it's fine. I mean, we, we understand that, you know, like uh, we, we know where he's at now. Jay, have you, have you seen this image before in your life? <laughs> Wait, he just shook his head. No. Nah? Damn. Yeah. Do you nah. know, do you know what, the, do you think this is the moon? What do you think this is? Uh, the moon. We are looking at a map of the world. <laughs> I mean, the moon is great. I mean, the moon is great. I'm, I'm on his side, dude. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, I mean, like, the moon is hey, great. Fuck this spot. pod, bro. The rest of the pod is just going to be having Big Che answer questions like that, dog. Wait. We got to keep waiting. Go back to it, bro. Yeah, we got to stay on this, Austin. All right, all right. So, so right here, bro. This this continent. That's, this, I, want, or, I, I wanted to make sure Leo knows that that is not a continent. I know. That is I know. A it's a country. Okay. This this the is country. the continent, right? But this right here. What is this place? You really don't know, huh? This is interesting. It's a country. Well, it's it's the United States of America. Okay, that's that's what it is. But it's okay, man. Because you know what? The school system failed you, man. The school system failed you. I'm school not, system failed I'm you. I'm not convinced Che went to school. Che, did you go to school? Because he says he hasn't even seen this image Austin, before. Austin, pull up fifth grade math. No. Wait, first, first no, grade, third grade, third grade. Fifth, wait, wait, fifth wait, grade wait. math is actually kind of hard. Got, got kind of gnarly. That, that show, that show. Are you smarter than fifth, fourth it, grader? Yeah, it's kind of gnarly. Kind of hard. You're absolutely right. Yeah, All right, yeah. third grade math. I think like first, fourth grade. grade. Nah, let's do third grade right. math, dude. You guys what? are retarded. What? What, what are we doing? Some really yeah, fucked up stories. He went to school. He hasn't seen the map before. He hasn't seen the map. Okay, you think he's gonna know division? All right, let, this is way no, too hard. No. What is this? You, what is it's this? Third no, grade math. Third grade. Third grade. Okay, so let me let me just say. Third. third. While, <laughs> while we're looking this up, first, yeah, go for, first. Wait, for, they so, go images. Wait, big, so Big Che, did did you go to school actually? Yeah. For how long did you go to school? Not really that long. Let's let him do number one. Wait, wait. Can, let's have one conversation. I'm sorry. Time. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, wait, wait, Big Che. Big Che, yeah, look wait. at me. What? How long were you in school? Not that long. 
Give me a Ice number, Ice Big J. High school price in the 11th grade. And then you stopped? Well, I, you got to 11th grade yeah. without knowing what Africa was? <laughs> It's all good, bro. You don't need to know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know. do. Dude. Cam yeah. takes exception to that, dude. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> whatever. Cam, where's you? Where are you from? I'm from here. All right. I'm from Cappuccino Hills. Oh, California. dope. Yeah. Cam, was that the dope. biggest failure of the U.S. education system you've ever seen? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, well, I, I, hmm. yeah. hmm. all right. Well, look, that was the worst I've ever I'll, seen. I'll put it this way. I put it this way. I'll give you. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because you're like far removed from school and like you're an adult and all this stuff, yeah. and you do forget shit. But if you were to ask like a twelfth grader that same question and they didn't get it right, I'll be I'll be angry. Really, I'll you don't angry. know what the shape of the United States is because well, I mean, he well, didn't know. Actually, if you ask a four, fourth grader yeah, that, they'll I would, probably know. I, anything past fourth grade, I would I'll be like, hey man, I, I this yeah. this look. But the answer is actually what's the bottom. best is that the yeah it is, but he won't he won't even realize that. Now, number one, answer the question. <laughs> Read that he will not realize that it's all good because this is how we're gonna help him. Step one, number one. Okay, do you can you read that or can you read? Really. We gotta read it Aww, for the dude. Right. Now I just feel bad, dog. Right. You can't even read. You assholes. All right, we'll try once, and then we're gonna come up with a life correction he plan. Read, he could read money. He's really good at reading money. I don't think he's really. So this is numbers. Well, this is money. This is money. Yeah, this is money, right? This is money. I, I'm gonna. I'll, how? I'll look at me. I guess big chain. Unless you could read that. Can you read that or no? Try. Uh, try change, to read that. Change chocolates with dollars. And try to read this. Money. That sentence. Try to read it. This is how school went for most Wait, times. Let's let quit, <laughs> sorry. quit interrupting, Leo. I'm sorry, he's figuring it out. Oh yeah. Let us whenever you're ready, Big J. Take as long as you want. Nobody distract him. Is it is it a sight thing? See, he needs glasses. Quit butting in, Leo. So let's all let's all wait patiently while he works it out. And read it. All right. Okay, it's all good. I'll read it for you out loud. How many more chocolates does Sam need to make it 13 if he already has four? Five, nine, eight, or two? It's five, five, six. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll, I'll rephrase it. If you know how to count money, I'll put it this way: How many more dollars does Sam need if he ha- if he needs thirteen dollars to get his edible, and he has four dollars? I like that. So you need you have uh, yeah four dollars. Edible is thirteen dollars. How many how many more dollars do you need? 13. Wait, wait, let Cam do it, right, Dick? You're just yeah. confusing same him. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> You're just confusing him. Yeah, the edible costs thirteen dollars. You have four dollars in your pocket. How much? How many more dollars do you need to grab from your grandma's drawer? Dude, it, look at the first question, bro. Look at this. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think he's you, going you to have this wrong. You have four dollars. He's going about this you, wrong. You have, you have four dollars. <laughs> it's not even one of the answers, bro. It's not even one of the answers. Uh, let's let Cam what be the only you? guy coach. Cam, can you tutor him right <laughs> now? Everybody else shut yeah. the fuck tutor up. Tutor the shit out yeah. of him. Everybody shut the fuck up. Let's happen, go, Cam. Because this actually happens to me all the time. All I right. Have four fucking dollars. Right. I'm trying to get an edible that's 13. 13. Right? How many? How many? How much more dollars do I have to find in my fucking like the side yeah. of my car? You get that, Big Che? To get the edible. You need taxes. No, no, thirteen. No. It's thirteen total. 13 That's total. outside the scope of this we're, question. We're, it's dizzy. It's dizzy. It's, it's, it's taxes. Included. I love that he he brought that back. That was good. Maybe thinking it might be an answer to a question. That was good. He learned a new vocabulary word. I he think he did. And retirement, too. That's something you think about. Okay, so everybody, Cam, make eye contact with that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Everybody shut up. I'm sorry. Including Leo. Walk him I'm, through it, Cam. Make eye contact. I, I'm going to kill myself <laughs> if he doesn't give us the answer to number one in, like, the next minute. So please, yeah. Cam. Yeah. Edible costs 13 You only have $4 in your pocket. How many more dollars do you need to get the edible? Four, five, six, seven, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right. So how many more would that be? No, what's the number? What's that number that you just counted? $13. No, no. What's that number you just counted from the difference from thir- 4 to 13? What's the number? Guess you're leaving. It's all right. I'm sorry. Four, 13, this is depressing. Well, that makes it a... Uh, 
I in between, I, in between, in between four dollars. So you need one dollar five, two dollars six, three dollars seven. <laughs> I, 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 Billy Madison is what I think. I think it's time for him to go back to school. First grade. He goes back to first grade. We take him to first grade. Dude, can you imagine in first grade, like he goes up to the board with up versus other first graders? Oh, would that be the greatest bit of all time? Or the Cam, I I just say shit. What are you talking about? Cam Cam is having to feed him the answer because Cam feels inadequate as an educator. Cam, you uh, you had it, Che. You had you counted it out. You're counting right. If if he could read, it would be. I mean, it's right there too the whole time. It is right there. But do you know what that number? (laughs) Do you know what that number is? Mm, no, no. Nice. Yeah, so. It actually it says an explanation. Sam already has four chocolates, therefore he needs to make a thirteen. Therefore he needs nine more chocolates to reach. Nice. I also want to point out this is the first time we've had some fucked up shit going on during this podcast. This is the first time Fed, the yeah. upstairs roommate, <laughs> has had to stop yeah. and gawk <laughs> yeah. for like ten minutes <laughs> no. in complete disbelief. <laughs> like, it was on. the map thing that got his attention. Yeah, 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 He's yeah. like, this is happening right now. Nine. Is there an American citizen? Are you an American citizen, Jay? Yeah. Is there an American? American citizen who can't point Africa out. He can't point the United States out. Bro. He can't. He didn't even know it was the world. He didn't know that that was a world map. He thought it was the moon. Number one. Number two. <laughs> nine plus four was that was just way too much. Yeah. I, 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 the Chinese are not very happy with. Actually, they are happy with this right now. Oh, they love. They're, that. they're actually actually yeah. ecstatic about this. Right? Yeah, they're watching oh, this pod like, like it look oh. it like we're winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my god. The, world War Three. We win easy. Yeah. <laughs> Their right. missiles go off course yeah. and fall in ocean yeah. Yeah. because they so bad man. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to accidentally bomb the Cameroon and yeah. not China. Like, they yeah, would yeah, have yeah, a bigger Che yeah. in a very difficult spot during the war. He could not do shit for them. Oh, no. Like President Xi Jinping, <laughs> we honor you. <laughs> yeah, it's Xi Jinping's going to be like, what's Lit. he going to do? He's going to like be like, hey, you guys like iPhones? <laughs> they're going to cost a thousand dollars. Well, they already, they're going to cost six thousand dollars from now on, unless he is your supreme commander <laughs> yeah. of the military. Dude, yeah. Imagine like aliens came down and for some reason, Big Che is the only one that survived the apocalypse and they just find him, dude. They must have thought they were a fucking stupid ass race, dude. Hey, hey, well, hey, hey. Where, where do you like, live, like, dog? I don't know that he would be able to answer where you live. If I was an alien and I was finding you, I'd be like, where is the weed that you smoke? God, I'd be like, <laughs> I need it all. Big Che, you can type in addresses and shit, though, right? To like Uber and shit? Yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Big Che, what are we going to do, dude? We got to help you. How dog. are we going to help you out, man? Do we show him pictures of animals and see if he knows what they are? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, nah, because animals are kind of... <laughs> what do you mean? They're going to be really basic animals, <laughs> I mean, bro. I mean, yeah. Austin, bring up a very basic animal <laughs> picture and, and try to... And, uh, and start slow, Austin. Yeah, start slow. It almost doesn't matter if like he if it's like writ, if it's like written, because I'm not sure he can read. So it's like, I think you could just pull up the picture... Yeah. Big Che, we're this I feel like Big Che, what he's gonna do is like he's he's quiet right what now. What kind of but, like, animal like, is the, this? You know, like you know how there's like school shootings and they're like, how did that happen? Yeah, you know it's what I mean? Like, us, like on God, like he's quiet right now, but no. there's gonna be a day. We're gonna help him out. There's gonna be a no, we're gonna day. help. I don't him. light this place up. No, we're helping him. <laughs> All right, hey, Big Che, what kind of animal is on the screen? That a rhino. It's close. I think it's a cousin of a rhino. He's getting there. I mean, you know. So you that your final answer? Yeah. It's, um, it's a hippopotamus, Jay. Oh, yeah, hippopotamus. Yeah, yeah. Let's hippopotamus. try another one. Yeah, let's try another one. From Madagascar. Yeah, let's try another one. What What is this animal? And to be fair, he's typing it. Yeah, yeah, he's typing it. <laughs> he's that doesn't typing. matter, Cam. <laughs> doesn't matter, Cam. It doesn't matter. What What animal is this? It's a bobcat. It's a bobcat. Not bad. I mean, I mean, he's I like, like you know what a bobcat he's, is. He's in the category. <laughs> he's mean, in yeah. the family both of times. animal both times. Both times. <laughs> and this is a cheetah. In fact, give him something Make easier, that. Austin. Fuck. Or give him something very unique. Oh, that doesn't this is have a good. Cousin. I, I love this. I love this. All right. This is really good. What kind of animal is this? Horse. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, let's go, dude. Let's let's go. Should we go to insects? Is hey, uh, insects next? Hey, pull what? up. Austin, can you pull up something <laughs> that went extinct 65 million years ago? Yeah, I like that. A dinosaur. Okay, oh, so you know that Okay, he got that one. What kind, let's this. see if he knows his types of dinosaur, dude. Oh, the fuck. He probably that's does. He that's, a video, that's, that's a video game thing, though. If like, yeah, let's, let's click one, dude. Because I have no idea. Oh, that's a good one. I like where you're going, Austin, in the, in the search bar. I like where you're going. What is that, Big J? That's a... 
<laughs> this is unbelievable, man. I don't know. <laughs> this is messed up, but like we need to help them, bro. I mean, that's the idea. It's like we're we're gathering information. We're like therapists right now. We need to see where he is. We need to see the bottom. Right? What do you what do you think that is, dude? What if you saw that thing coming down Fairfax Avenue? What would you think? Do you are they around anymore? Not really. But what is it? But what is it? What would you say it is? Not really. There are a couple of them. Probably around. Yeah, the what do you think these are? They kind of are in the zoo today, actually. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. If you really look at it. What yeah, of it, course. What it actually is. What do you think it is? All right. He's coming. He's coming up uh, zero. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's Austin, Austin is. Dude, and Austin, no, he's linked up with. Austin is locked. linked up with me right now. Yeah, look, look at the difference. There's very little difference. Okay. What is what, this? What is this though, Cam? What is, what this? is this? Big J. Big J. What is this? Elephant. How is? Yeah. So what the fuck was that other thing, Big J? The extinct one. Go back, Austin. It also just actually go back. Yeah. If you can, Austin, go back to the extinct one. So, <laughs> so Big J, is it fucking with you that you don't know what that thing is that looks kind of like an elephant? Is that pissing you off? <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> yeah. is that thing, dude? Dude, in all seriousness, there's not much of a difference. Like, what is the difference? No, there there, is no they, difference. they were bigger and they had well, the, hair. The, the hair. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're the same. So, elephants are mammoths. Oh, oh like, careful, Cam! You gave it away, but I don't think it's mean, gonna matter. But what is that, Big J? The mammoths. Yeah. Oh, well, that was Big J slipping well, up. Yeah, your answer. Here we go. What the fuck oh, is that thing? Back. What's that? That's a crab. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, dude! Anything that has anything to do with edible. Yeah, I mean, it is food, but whatever, whatever. Uh. That. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck's this Madagascar thing? Madagascar. What the fuck's this thing, dude? Giraffe. That's not a giraffe. It's not a giraffe, Big <laughs> J. Okay. Similar. Again, it's kind of in the same category. What would, you, what would you say this is? The other Madagascar animal. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Mm hmm. All right, I'm worried about you, Big J. You don't know what this is, do you? I'm worried for America right now. I'm sincerely worried for America. Well, I'm just worried for Big J and his and his, and his calves and and his you know his, Dude, his reading comprehension. Fed his, Fed looks like he's gonna leave the country. Like, you know, Fed up my, there is gonna like he's gonna go to Singapore. There he's it, done, dude. Confirming all my suspicions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fed might have to leave America, but <laughs> yeah. man, I think I think yeah, man, I think we get you a, a tutor, bro, a first grade tutor. How old are you again, Big J? Forty. It's all good. You're young, dog. We have some really deep. Yeah, plenty of time, man. Dude, I'm fucking sad now, man. I'm sad too, bro. Like, what? He's, he's I think. Do you think he forgot everything because he smoked so much, or do you think it's like he never learned it in the first place? Big Chay, give let's give Ratek the mic to speak for Big Chay. Or uh, yeah, we can pass it. There we go, Cam. So what's up? Rat Pussy Pam thought he was fried off the drugs, but then you get to know him and you realize, yeah, he's just fried off the drugs, probably. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that true, yeah. Big Chay? You think you're fried? Nah. You just you can't figure I mean, out what kind of animal this is. He's still cool, so yeah, he's the man. That's for sure. Big Che, I, I like you, buddy. You're you're really funny, bro. <laughs> you know, and yeah, and you might not know what this animal is, but <laughs> <laughs> shut up. It's not a laughing matter. You might not know what this animal is. That it's, it's probably one of the most famous animals in the world. I mean, it's in every movie and every National man. Geographic. Hey, show. Can, can we pull up? Um, you know Simba. Austin, can we pull up what Simba is? That's got to be. That'll be a fun one. What's that shit, Big J? It's a lion. Okay. Yeah. All right. He knows who the lion is. Dude. Lion King. He knows the lion. All right. He's got... Uh, there's, a, there's a category called charismatic megafauna, which is all the most famous animals in the world. Can you pull up uh, Shamu, Austin? You know what Shamu is, Big J? Yeah. What is it? It's a Shamu. Oh, is it? Let's see. Let's click a picture. What kind of? What is that thing, dude? What is that fucking big fish thing? It's a. Uh... No way. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's a charismatic megafauna. Like everybody on Earth knows sea what these world, are. Like the Sea World animal. Yeah, it is the Sea World animal. What is that thing, Big Che? It's fucking with you, isn't it? It's a shark. Like, a shark. Do, the thing you call like a fat woman. Yeah. That's a good one. No, yeah, I guess we could fucking hints don't matter. Okay, so Che, it seems like you're stumped on this one, That's huh? That's mean. I didn't say that. No, it's I like that. I like you. <laughs> I the fat check things don't that doesn't bother me. I just I don't want to make Che feel bad about himself. He's Che is scratching his chin right now. He's trying to figure out what this fucking thing is. What do you think? Fed is still not left. Dude. Fed is in disbelief. There's actually a movie about it about a fat guy. 
Free Willy, baby. He did not see that film. I guarantee. I guarantee he did not see that film. You know that Michael Jackson song, the Free Willy one, is fire, dude. I just listened to it recently. It's so good. I haven't heard that one. So good. Yeah, it's at the end of the movie. Che, can you name the four seasons? Four seasons. Fuck no, dude. This is California. We don't get those. What? Can you name the seasons? There are four of them. Oh God! I have now. We got to go. We. I'm going. Easier questions after. No, this. we we got to hit this one. Though. I know we definitely hit this, but then I'm going even easier. Go ahead. I, can you name the four seasons? He didn't know there were four seasons, but can you name the four seasons? Nah. Can you name a couple of them? Four seasons. Winter is one of them. Winter. Uh, is winter. Nice. You got one. He did. He got one. <laughs> Any other season? Well, <laughs> nice. Yeah! Yeah! Now let's yeah! Br- bring us home, Big Che. We got winter, fall. What else is there? Snow. <laughs> yeah, he already said winter. That's, I love that. That's dude. associated with winter. So, what are the other two? The mystery seasons. Remember when you didn't have to go to school for a couple months? What was that? What was that? When you Jay didn't have to go. Yeah. Jay perked Actually, up. Actually, there's two of them. They're both of them breaks. The one you're missing are both breaks. There's yeah, they a are. long break and then there's a week break. break. I think. Yes. Summer. Summer. And then there's a week break. There you go. And uh, everyone goes to Cancun. Everyone puts where to take their tops off. You just don't give them more geographical locations. You're confusing. Them. <laughs> or college fo- college hoes. College yeah. hoes. Yeah, I love that he that. knows that. Where do the college that hoes go? College hoes is a season. It's a season. When do the college chicks get slutty, Che? Uh, it's the last season. Well, well, the last season is. Will be the. What was last season? <laughs> you're, 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 you're having way too much joy in this, you piece of shit. I, I am now going, I'm going to the next question because it's spring. Spring, my man. Yeah, That's spring. Spring, spring break. Go. Spring break. Now, this is the question I had for uh, Big Che. So for Big Che. Big Che, you're back on the hot seat, buddy. You listening, Big Che? I wonder what Che was at the stand-up he's happy, show. He's happy to not be on the hot seat for a couple of seconds. Oh, uh, uh, we're going to come back to this. I'm sorry to seat. interrupt. No, you. no, it's fine. I just like, do you think when Che is listening to stand-up, it just, it sounds like the adults <laughs> in the peanut cartoon. Yes. It's like, sometimes people's like premises are relatively, like you got to know some stuff. Yeah. You got to know what Africa is. Yeah, dude, he doesn't. He's a great watcher, though. He'll just smile the whole time, at least. Or sleep. Or half of it. Yeah, This is a good question. good. How many, Big Che, how many days are in a week? Wow. 31 <laughs> days. How many? 31 days. 31 in a, in days a week? in a week. Wrong yeah. term. <laughs> in, a, in a week? There's 31 days? 31 days in a week. How many days in a month, Big Che? Nobody helping. How many days in a month? Oh my god, dude! Everybody follow Big Che, by the way. Follow him on Instagram. (laughs) Don't try to fucking scam him, guys. I swear to God, if you guys are in his DMs trying to scam my boy. Don't. Oh my god! Actually, yeah, maybe we should block everyone's day. Yeah, yeah, because like um, they'd be like, "Hey, man, like, well, <laughs> oh my god, I got this girl that needs your help, but it's just like a hot, like, fucking Instagram." Yeah. It's Carmen Electra from oh like twenty years ago. If you don't send her three hundred dollars, she's yeah. gonna die tonight. And well, Carmen Electra. That gonna brings die. me. That it's, brings me, gentlemen, to our next question. Yeah, Big Che, do you have a bank account? Yeah. Do oh. you actually? Yeah. That's how, dope. How many dollars are in the bank account? I like. Two hundred. That's dope. All right, so he can be scammed. I didn't even think he had a bank account. No, because yeah, I, I, yeah, I thought, I thought, I'm, I thought I'm pretty privy to scams. So the motherfucker's got me a couple times yeah. for fifty bucks. But for I sure. mean, it is what it is. How many months in a year? Just curious if you know that one. Um, every month. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. Every month is in a year. Yeah. That is actually true. That's, that's actually that's correct. True. That's true. Uh, let correct. me let me ask you this, Big J. What year is it? <laughs> December. Yes. Of what year? What's the year? Uh, 20... Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Fuck yeah, he got it. Dude. Do you know what that? <laughs> do you know what that? Do you know what happened? Just out of curiosity, Big Che, in the year zero when we started counting up, who was around back then? Roughly in that time period, who was alive? Tell me any fact about the year zero, <laughs> about that general time. Depends on what you believe, I guess. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. But even you could say what allegedly happened. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to know this, Danny. It's, uh... So I just, it's crazy that. Che, like, so you think that, like, you're just living in the present moment right now, and just history is a fucking blank chalkboard. Yep. <laughs> that is fun. The, the map is blank. Everything's blank. You are uh, the guy, because you, Che, you're a Christian, right? Yeah. Your guy, you know, Jesus? 2000 gang, years. Gang, gang. 2023 do you, years. Do you know any, can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me anything about Jesus, actually? I'm very curious to see how good of a Christian you well, are. Well, Jesus was, like, after zero, year zero. Well, yeah. he was born in yeah. 4 AD, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homies had houses by then. Like, he, like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he hates gay people. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. He, uh, kind of. <laughs> it was 4 AD Jesus was born. Che, tell me, tell me anything about Jesus. Tell me a couple facts about Jesus. How did he die? How did he die, Simple fire language, fast. Danny. What's that? On the fast. That, no, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Who did it to him? Who crossed him? Was it, the, was it the Chinese? Let's was it see. the Bulgarians? I mean, technically. Let's see. I mean, Let's see if this, <laughs> who killed Jesus? Actually, you can't say it, actually. You, there, there you, actually, you actually can't say it. There are actually kind of two answers to this. There's, there's, two, actually, answers. there's yeah. actually two answers. There's two one theories. you can't say it because yeah. it's well, not, yeah. a good, not a good word right it now. It is right now. We can't say it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Actually, this one, I'll, this, one, this, one, this one I'll actually give you a pass on this. But, like... Uh, I, I guess you could say because um, Jesus never died. How many? How many? How many days until he came back? Homie came back. Three. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Damn, dude. Leo's sorry. fucking yeah, now. Yeah, Leo's yeah, yeah. like, ooh, fucking yeah. questions. Yeah. Now listen. Uh, how many out? How many hours in a day? Hours in a day. Damn, dog. Wait. When you're uh, a we tell him who killed Jesus. It. It was the pandas. Yeah. It was a, a feral group of pandas that were kind of just running just through Accounts. Rome. What? Yeah. Yeah. And they, um, they <laughs> were. I can't help it. No, no, yeah, yeah. And they, um, yeah, they, they devoured um, him on the cross. They were paralyzed cross. by my rat dick. They were. How many minutes in an hour? I'm just curious, Che, like, if you are a Christian, like, what's what what about Christianity attracts you? I'm sorry to come back to that. No, but no, he, like, I get that you like this. He likes that. He, like, cares about it. So, like, he's more passionate about Christianity than concepts ours. concepts for him. And the concept is, be a good person. Is that, wh- what, uh, what did the Jesus said, like, fucking spoke to you? A good person. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I don't know if he ever said that. Like, exactly. I mean, te- technically not really, but he was just like, I kind of, kind of did. He kind of like do he us kinda, to others as you would. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much saying good, be a good person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm aware, but yeah. he, I feel like, eh, Big Che, you're doing good. You're, you know, you're the fucking man, Big Che. Big yeah. Che, I love you, man. Hey, man. Yeah, Big Che. Good shit. Good shit. You got almost every question wrong, but that's okay because you know what? You knew what an elephant was. You knew what a lion was. You knew what a dinosaur was. And you knew what a dinosaur was. You did. <laughs> <laughs> this you is, a hip- hippopotamus was a rhino. You and uh, you've proven and you didn't know what a zebra was. You've proven today to have the the question answering ability of a toddler. I would say there are kids in preschool who could have gotten more of those questions correct, but that's not saying anything about you. Just saying, hey, man, you want some fire shit, Doug. You know what I'm saying? You got that fire you, yeah, zaza. I, I, yeah, and to, and to answer, really, the answer is, what kind of rosin are you? The, the audience really yeah, wants to know. Yeah, it's that, like, that's really the answer that we've really been looking for. Hey, you smoke it's, this shit, you won't know shit yeah, like, no like, more, like, motherfucker. What type of weed are you smoking? <laughs> that's, hey, you yeah. smoke this, motherfucker, you ain't gonna know shit, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. That's yeah. the answer I'm looking for. Yeah, Mudflap almost murdered you with the right hand. Do you remember that? I, that was sick. And what I happened? Was, I was when he stars. hit you in the face, why don't we revisit that? Because that there makes me happy happy dude that was a good it makes me real happy you know what i mean just up 
Man, that was a good right hand, dude. Let me tell you. Yeah. Right yeah. in the like, kisser. Yo, get naked and just run the up The comments were was... weird. Some of them were saying it wasn't a good one, but in person, like Chad came to me. He's like, dude, that was, it was, you heard it. He it stepped into it. He stepped into it, and it was a fairly short right hand. It You heard the it crack. And stuff. two things you realized that day. Number one, mud flap threw a good right hand, but I'm going to tell you. This piece of shit over here, RDR could take a right hand he like a chin. I, I, I didn't know what you got a chin you know, on, I buddy. But let's watch it. I let's watch it. Or something. I got a big bear punch. That was sick. As it was fuck. from some you wall thought time. I was gonna give you a hug. Yeah. You're running at me with your dick out. I know. I thought you were gonna accept it gracefully. <laughs> you know what? I mean, when <laughs> I mean, you when you maybe did maybe, run, maybe pull your pants out and you know <laughs> what was going through your head? Me. What was going through your head when you decided to run at him with with your penis out? I thought he was gonna pull down his pants and penis bought me too. Like I mean, like I feel like punching school, someone but, is you know, he, the that, natural that was, response to that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he uh, he talked me. You know, I mean, now I know not to pull down your pants. And I know that people. Danny told you to do it. He right? did Danny tell told me. You to he do told it. me he to told do it. But I I think he didn't. What he said was like playfully kind of be like, "Hey, mud flap," not like. Run at him in that weird skip. Why did you do that weird skip? <laughs> yeah. I was I pulled down my pants and I had to hop. You know. Yeah, let's watch it. There. Let's watch it because yeah, it's really fun. Sunset but, like, ritual right now. <laughs> but right here, what, what, why the skip? The skip. Why, the skip? <laughs> why the skip? Why the skip? Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh but God oh, oh, damn! Oh. Punch him in the face. Yeah. Oh. It's the mask. Oh, you almost broke my jaw. Wow. That was a good one. Was, oh, I can take a punch. That's all right. That was, you can take all right, pause. If you're a little down, you almost broke my jaw for sure. But you got yeah. me right here, and it was it, it was sick. Now, yeah. there's some people I, out there. I felt there. it all night. Now, Rad, take a look. I want to discuss this with you because it's something worth discussing. And, and The shrooms helped it. Oh, yeah. what about the knife that Dino found after that? Did you bring that, man? Why did you bring a knife? Yeah, because like right, this was Maybe never covered. Maybe wanted to chop on. my penis off. So you, yeah, so you miss it. So like one thing that nobody knows about it wasn't on camera is like right after that tribal ceremony that we do when they toss stones into some circles, Dino taps me in the back. Hey man, like I found this knife right over a rat dick was, and like it was like a sketchy, like looks like a, a rat dick knife. Like mm. it looked like so like a murder stick, like a two dollar at Walmart, like a shank. Yeah, yeah, like just a step above. Like a, All right, well, this oh, is wait. an accusation that's made right now. I want to talk to you. Uh, Rattic, I'm going to ask you like you're on the stand right now. Put your ha right hand up. All right, well, we are out Do there you swear, desert. stop. Do you swear to tell the truth under oath, under did you, your hand to God's ears? Yes, I, I'm telling the truth. All right, so why did My you Why did you have a knife? Danny Mullen. Why did you um, have a knife? Uh, I didn't have a knife. That that was probably left there by some desert tweaker because we were out there in you, the- Yeah, you- I no, not me. I, I'm telling you guys, I did. I did not. I bring I not, I not a knife. I did not bring a knife. Right, out there. Right, I believe you if you say this. Uh, that's crazy. I was with Danny Mullen the whole time. What do you we say to up, the people that, that we say, met up at uh, the podcast? Dude, I, I was with Holly Day. I was like trying to come on to Holly Day. I have no intention to bring a knife out there to see mud I right, We know you were enthralled with the Holly Day, but let me ask I you mean, a question. What do you say to the people? Now I might listen to me. <laughs> oh, what no. do you say to the people <laughs> that say that one day you're gonna kill someone in the crew? That's it. that's insane. I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. That's crazy. I don't know. I, anything. Man. I just want to do content and go try to ask people how big their cocks are. Maybe eventually see some cock. You know, as mm -hmm. one does. I'm still taking some more video ideas. Uh, I like maybe. this. I like that route for your channel. You yeah. should just be going around, <laughs> asking, seeing to see as many cock. penises as possible. Yeah. It's not going to get old. I think old. that I think it's going to be one of those things. It's like you know, people look forward to you know their favorite radio show, their favorite whatever. The people are going to look forward to it's their next cock. Yeah, to the next penis that you yeah. see. I think the Patreon maybe behind the paywall you show the penises. <laughs> you don't show the penises on the YouTube, of course, because then you'll get demonetized yeah, or actually you'll get deleted. But put some blur in there. That's but you can show it tips. on the Patreon. That yeah. should be that. that that's Patreon. a great business model for you. Yeah, you, you, you I feel like people would pay a lot of money for that. You yeah. should think about that, doing that. Make it yeah. artistic. You can twitch. Uh, you know, I, I was out there in the beach and I was like, hey, can how big is your cock? And they're like, oh, it's, it's this many. It's just like, oh, can I see it? Mm -hmm. And they're like, ah, oh. well, they were like, we can't pull it out here. We'll get in trouble. So I need to find a way that they can pull out their cocks, you know. That's great. Maybe Rattic. a van or something. I'll have a little van with me. Wow. Oh, fucking... wow. The guy who wants to see your cock is driving a van. Yeah. Oh, Come yeah. up in my van. A nice That's white van. Let me see your cock. That might work. Grab that... some puppies and yeah. some candy. The next, uh, that might, that'll the next work. Car, I, you're, you're not going to end up in jail or anything for doing no, that. You're no. not going to. You're not. not it's gonna be the rape some guy's not going to, like, get pissed and. Say that you're kind of assaulting, sexually assaulting oh, him. Hey, and, let you me know. see your cock. Hop in my van. I mean, I'm surprised he isn't in jail more often, to be honest. No. Uh, RDR? Rat, Rat Dick yeah. is uh, 
pretty um, sane. I'm not. I think he out was. There he was to, scared straight. I mean, would you say you were straight. scared straight? Yeah, I'm not out there trying to hurt anybody. So those accusations are crazy. I just want to live a peaceful life. You know, people Peter. might think I'm a crazy person, but. Right, because it's just out here trying to see cock. That's all it is. <laughs> well, uh, look, some people feel like we are taking advantage of you because you have a mental health issue, but I don't think you, I think you're actually really sane. And yeah, honestly, I took an IQ test. I'm a lot smarter than Big Che, who's over there getting well, his I mean, leg so is amputated. Well, I mean, this couch today. that he was sitting on.